Welcome everybody to Mog Talk episode 265. If you guys are unfamiliar with Mog Talk, it's a show based around the Final Fantasy XIV community discussing everything from Savage Raiding to Chuckaboo Racing. Uh, and I am a little sick, so I sound off and horrible. Uh, luckily, I have four amazing guests on here to make up for me not talking so much. Uh, so it should be okay. And I'm going to probably be messing with the assets and cleaning up the video stuff a little bit because it's a little bit off. Uh, but uh, before we get too much into it, I do want to go ahead and have our guests introduce themselves. Uh, and I'm going to start, uh, I guess, top left to go clockwise. Uh, Roger, can you tell everybody uh, who you are? Uh, yeah, really happy to be in the show. But uh, Frosty, I would really appreciate it if you uh, address me with my appropriate title uh, moving forward. <laughs> okay. It's uh, Hev Heaven's Legend, Roger Brown. Uh, <laughs> okay. No. I'm I'm Roger Brown. I uh, play, you know, fantasy, but I'm mostly known for World of Warcraft. Uh, in the team Echo, and uh, yeah, recently you probably saw us finally defeat uh, DSR after six grueling months. Uh, okay, it was not non-stop, but uh, yeah, I play. I played all three freeze ranged uh, classes, uh, jobs. Sorry, sorry, and uh, excited to to have a talk about it. You know what I love the fact that you want to be politically co correct about what you're calling different things in Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have trouble saying free company instead of uh, guild? Mm, to be honest, a lot of times I, I like say the wow equivalent, but uh -huh. then I instantly realize if I that I did it, and then sometimes I correct it, sometimes I let it slide, you know. See, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm I'm also the person who will correct if someone says a word wrongly, so. Mm -hmm. I'm that kind of guy, so I try to keep the okay. same standard for myself, you know? That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. All right, uh, Mr. Happy? Hi, what's up? Yeah, you brought me on, even though I've been a, I've been playing Monk the last two things, but I'm back, I'm going to be back on range next year, so this will be a good refresher for me. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I do all sorts of stuff, and I'm not playing Harvestella for once, so it's weird. I'm going to be honest with you, dude, I could bring you on for a show literally now at least i can bring you on a show about anything and it doesn't matter you'll be able to talk on the topic yeah but i'm gonna sound dumb with some of them so i mean we'll see if that happens today though i don't know we'll if that's see. going to change depending yeah, on the topic true. right yeah no, yeah that's fine. No, that's <laughs> Just kidding. That's fair. uh but yeah no no i'm happy to bring you back on uh, you're happy fuck god damn it all right Z zap can you go <laughs> oh hello i'm zap i'm the this ranged for the neverland Raid group and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's never We're doing a bit of? Uh, we are a raid group that has formed not so long ago. Got the DSR world first and world second on PRS. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, yeah, Zep is a long time world racer. How long have you been uh, racing for? I think I've been playing since practically the beta, but racing, I think since like Stormblood. Okay. It's like 4.0. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right, Zirin. Yo, my name's Saren. Uh, I stream and raid on EU mostly. And uh, I'm an angry machinist main. Years of neglect and I'm still here. <laughs> that's you know that's good that's good that's good uh i mean <clears throat> we'll talk about that in a little bit <laughs> so uh the main reason we're doing this show we wanted to do a physical rain show because uh we had a show discussing jobs and your your webcam's gonna be all messed up for a little bit Sarah, while i try to fix all your shit i don't know why i have it all wonky but it's okay no problem uh it's fine but the main reason is we did a, a show discussing job balance and everything else. And then we were like, we hit a point where we're like, you know, we didn't talk about physical range at all. We didn't have anyone on the show that could really talk to it too much. And I felt horrible. I was like, hey, let's do a, a show about that uh, at some point. Uh, we had Momo kind of doing all the physical range conversation for us. I was like, let's, let's do it justice and have a, a show on it. Um, but then a whole bunch of other shit happened. Uh, they had a live letter. Roger cleared ultimate uh, DSR, you know, the heavens. What, what's the title again? Heaven, heaven legend, heaven's, heaven's legend, legend, heaven's legend. Yes. Thank you. Uh, 
Not the first Heavens legend like Zeppa was, right? Close. But, no, Roger Brown is <laughs> chat, Heavens chat, legend. Chat said, chat said <laughs> world's first and last. Yeah. <laughs> both on the same show. <laughs> I would say that might be accurate. I don't know if anyone's cleared <laughs> that since you've cleared it. Uh, I tried to find anyone else streaming DSR. I couldn't find a single person. I think everyone who's wanted to do it has finished it. Yeah, we were the <laughs> only ones pulling that boss. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Yeah, there was so much stuff that happened recently, though. And I want to get into a handful of it. We have enough time to kind of get into it. Um, I mean, this is kind of all fresh in your mind with Ultimate and everything else. And there's a lot of people who are curious about your thoughts too, Roger. Uh, just out of curiosity, have you, do you know anything about the live letter? Did you see any, any information from it at all? I saw just the titles a bit. Um, so, I mean, the main big thing that I saw was that the new Ultimate is coming uh, two mm -hmm. weeks uh, after the past gets released. So in January, like late January. Yeah. Um, I saw, obviously, they said again about the Paladin rework, but I don't think they gave any uh, details uh, beyond that. Mm -hmm. uh, then a bunch of stuff like more houses for people. I mean, that's good. Um, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, uh, something about a dungeon with like the House of the Dead and stuff like that. I, haven't really <laughs> into that. I, I don't know what's going on there, but something cool is happening there. <laughs> that That's... Uh... That's awesome. Yeah, no, there's, uh, you'll find out. And my camera's doing all crazy stuff. Don't worry, I'm fixing it, guys. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, you might like the House of the Dead. I think you might like the House of the Dead. Yeah. Uh, it, it's... Your camera looks like the House of the Dead. Right? <laughs> You're adjusting it. Yeah, I mean, the chroma key's just off. I don't know. Whatever, man. Did you like Torghast? Uh... I don't know that you can compare Deep Dungeons uh, well, with Torghast. It's the closest comparison. The yeah, closest but. comparison. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I, I I know about it, right? Like, you start and you just level up and stuff, and you're yeah. solo gaming, and it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, and a lot of people have said it's cool, but I think it, it takes some time to, like, learn how it works and get through it. Just always, I don't know, it's, like, lowering my priority because there's so much other stuff to do. That mm -hmm. I just didn't get to it yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you going to get to what, what? What are you getting to next in Final Fantasy fourteen? I guess. Well, that's a great <laughs> question. Um, if we had more time, the next thing I would go and do would be probably the Omega raids. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, also to prepare a bit. Just maybe I don't maybe. know. They didn't say it, but uh, Ultimate might have something to do a little bit with Omega. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um yeah i don't know uh but the, a lot of people have recommended those raids so that would be my next thing to go to probably okay yeah. would you guys go in there completely blind as well and just try to oh yeah 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 i mean for me i don't i don't think i'll ever do bosses if it's not blind personally mm -hmm. uh yeah i mean I've, I've, I've just enjoyed it so much that i don't think uh I, i'd rather i'd rather not do it and just leave it there waiting because who knows, maybe in two years, three years from now, I will want to do more fan fantasy content and I don't want to consume it all, right? So, mm -hmm. okay. always blind. You'll have me. content for decades. <laughs> so, yes. uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and I mean, I'm going to go ahead and ask it just to ask it. I'm sure people are curious. Uh, you, you have the WoW World Race, which 100% you're going to do mm -hmm. uh, in December. Is that going to affect any chance of you doing the ultimate race? <laughs> well, I don't think, I hope we do not go that far with the WoW race. I don't think so. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I think for us, the biggest challenge will be just getting a group together that can commit. Because mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to do the same thing where we like topped a bunch of times and, and had like a huge gap and had to replace people. So... I think now that we know what to expect from an ultimate, uh, yeah, we will, like, I will want to have, like, a solid team that can commit for, let's say, a month, just go mm -hmm. and hopefully finish it off within a month. So okay. that that will be the challenge. I think time-wise, it will be okay to go for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, of course, a lot of people uh, will want to ask, and I'm asking all this stuff just because we brought you on the show. 
I didn't mean to like change it from the rain show to the Roger Brown ultimate show. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but a lot of people are curious, even the people on the show. Uh, but uh, I do want to ask, how do you feel about, now that you've done an ultimate in Final Fantasy XIV, how do you feel about the fight uh, in the style of content? Uh, I think it is very unique. Like, I've never had such a feeling. I think it's, uh, it's I don't think there's anything comparable in World of Warcraft. Um, so, you know, it was a new experience and I really enjoyed it. I, the only thing, as I said, right, like, I think the only thing that kind of lessened a little bit the enjoyment was because of the, let's say, requirements you have to have to get through the fight. Like I said, like a solid group that can play for an extended period of time. Um, which, okay, I mean, we were also hurting ourselves by going blind, but that it is what it is. Um, yeah, that that was a struggle to get through. So we had a lot of times where we had to limit our raids, then we had to stop because people had other things to go to. And that kind of like dragged it on. That's what I didn't like. Um, but yeah, like the fight itself, I think is really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, I the, the two things I would want to say is one, a little bit controversial, but I I do think maybe it would have been okay for my taste, for my taste, okay, big asterisk, <laughs> um, if there was, let's say, potentially a second checkpoint after the <laughs> phase. I'm just, you know, there is one after the first horse of one phase, or maybe after the second. Bold but words. it's fine, you know, words. people, it's okay, no, no. it's okay. <laughs> no, so it's, it's funny, it's funny that you say that, because during, like, when it first came out, I, I don't think there was a single group that wasn't saying, so there's another checkpoint here, right? Like, every single, <laughs> like, I think every group had, had people saying that, so yeah, checkpoint. Mm -hmm. I, the funny <laughs> thing was, like... In, in the middle of Prague, I remember like seeing comments like we we end like day two, day three, and like people are like, oh, it has a checkpoint. Oh no, it's gonna die so fast. It's so easy. And we're like losing our mind over what we're seeing, dude. <laughs> That's Man. funny. Yeah. Nah, but I, I get it, right? Like I'm, I'm too new to the game to be saying uh, how do, like things change. I, you know. Um, I think just for our team, I think it would have made it much more enjoyable, right? Because then we could have broken through those things that I mentioned before of like not being able to find the time and all that. It it, it condenses the progression much a, a lot if you have that. But uh, the other thing that I do want to say, and this is no excuse by Square Enix, okay? The song in the Thornton phase that goes, da -da -da -da. man, whoever made that, Full troll, yeah, full troll. It's just <laughs> full despair. Please put an uplifting song. If you wipe, you want an uplifting song. Not so full <laughs> like, you know, I, I, we did we did one lockout in T. We did uh. one lockout in T back in the day, and that has an uplifting song. You know, it's like just shoot, let's go. You know, yeah. like, that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, happy. <laughs> <laughs> man oh, i would yeah, not after after, song, after thinking about t i would not i would not call that song uplifting okay um yeah okay no, I, I, that that's that's my thoughts no, but i i think uh, in terms of design really cool mechanics um my favorite is uh the the third and the second third phase i think that that is the best phase for me Really, really cool. Uh, especially, like, Wrath of the Heavens, I think, is my favorite mechanic. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, that's... Okay. Which that was, was, like, I, a I, huge wall mm -hmm. for so many people. Mm -hmm. Like, Wrath and Death took people so long to get through. Easily one of the harder bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's it like to figure out these mechanics versus figuring out the mechanics over in, like, a WoW raid? Like, the last... I mean, we'll, oh. we'll compare it to the last one, I guess. <laughs> last fight. Like, night and day, honestly. It's not the same at all. <laughs> Really? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, with WoW, uh, like, I would say 90% of the stuff we figured out from PTR or data mining or guessing. Um, there's very few things that you don't know. And then when you go there, it's not like some intricate puzzle that you need to figure out. It's very obvious very quickly. Um, like, what the mechanics do. Forming a strategy around it, it, there is a lot more freedom in World of Warcraft compared to Final Fantasy, I would say. Um but uh, actually understanding, like, the mystery of it, 
is not so much there, like not at all. So it's way different. I right? like in 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 WoW, it's more like how can we now we know what the mechanics? How do we abuse the mechanics to get the best result we can? Like the most DPS, the least healing requirement, all of that, right? Um, the least damage taken. In Final Fantasy, it's more like okay, what the hell do we even need to do to survive this thing? And once you have that. You're good, right? Like that's mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, maybe you have like some genius idea to like solve it in a really cool way, like on um, P7s with like the the donuts, uh, where people like we didn't do that on the first kill, for example, mm -hmm. and then it's like oh duh, you know, like <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So very very different. I got you. It was, was there anything like? Uh... I guess going into the, we could we could make this relevant to the show. Uh, going in as a physical range that you felt was like at all <laughs> challenging or difficult or something that you had to work to figure out, a unique to that role. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would also like other people to talk as well, so I don't. Well, no, I don't oh yeah, we can talk. We can talk. I I will say that I played at the start as a bard, and I thought that was fine. But then after the three months break we had, I switched over to a uh, dancer. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was, you know, the dragon's phase was really cool because I would try to sneak in the middle to do the AOE abilities and whatnot. So I thought that was really cool. And all the, you know, improv timings and the curing walls, like it was fun to min-max also the utility, uh, which uh, was not so much, you know, with the bar, it's a little bit more simple, let's say. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed the dancer and the man, the uh, what's called the Anavant. Oh, like dude. once, once, once you have it, like when I switched to Bard because I got the Bard weapon uh, uh, from P8s, and then I played Bard in the reclears there. I was like, man, I wish I had Anavant. Yeah, like it's so bad. <laughs> it after. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Don't oh. worry. I'll hit you with the machinist copium. They're gonna get a dodge roll to the side, like a combat roll. One day. Ooh. One day. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, well, what's everyone else's thoughts here about ranged and an ultimate, <laughs> I guess. Man, you're talking about Bard and DSR cracks me up because I just remember trying to think of the downtime and the songs. Like you have to as Bard you have to like play songs deliberately to get them during downtime in DSR. Otherwise, it just all falls apart later. So that's just as soon as you started talking about. It. I never, I didn't swap off dancer though. I said, I'm... "Sting, you mm -hmm. stick with, like, with it." Was a time. Yeah, for me, like I also agree with like, for me personally, on our font is like one of the biggest like prog abilities because you can survive so much more, and you can also like fix mistakes and I might be the other coping. two just don't have that <laughs> I might be coping a bit because cool. I'm a devout machinist main despite the pain but I liked machinists in DSR I liked being able to pull and spend at will it, it felt good to do and especially when like you might have a death here and there which okay for the most part like wasn't great but since queen isn't affected by weakness or anything like you felt like you had an impact by being able to spend more than usual or less than usual if you had like good damage going into a phase but with that said like it can't be denied that bard and dancer are still pulling ahead like the utility is just too valuable and it's like you can have a good time with a machinist like if they want to play machinist play it sure but your 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 static's always going to look at you like man why aren't you a dancer <laughs> like, why aren't you a bard man just just why it doesn't matter how good you are like the, the other stuff they have is just too free <laughs> <laughs> this makes me it just makes me think of like let's say you were in like dragon king thornton and like everyone just it, like one person dies because the healing's off just a little bit during like giga flares and they look over as like Imagine if you had healing wall, curing wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cur curing walls and improv are savers in the final phase. Mm. We made frequent use of it as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so especially, I do, I do think improv, it, it, like in fights where there is so much downtime, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too overpowered, if you ask me, right? Like because. 
it's supposed to have a downside that you cannot DPS while you're channeling it. But if there's downtime to begin with, and then there is followed by a big hit, and even if you don't channel it for a lot, you just press it in between the globals, it still gives a 5% shield and the hot. It's like a little bit busted, yeah? Like, I, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, technically, I, I'm not... <laughs> it, it is busted, uh, but technically the... The mina from Bard is uh, a rough equivalent if you pair it up with a Scholar. If you put it on the Scholar for a spread Adlor, then it's pretty much the same. Yeah. And then you have but a But that sage. requires more effort. And then you have a Sage, yeah. <laughs> Sadness. Yeah, Nature's Min was... We, we joked and we said, oh, I, the tanks would be like, I have Nature's Min. I can't die now. It's impossible. I'm invincible. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I had carrying walls. <laughs> Would you say that's like the the biggest just downfall of Machinist is that it just doesn't have that ability to like help the group as much as very greedy just in nature, focus on itself or I don't I think it makes it a less desirable proc job, but I think outside of proc it is fine. It's not as bad. Because typically you're not you're not basing your mitigation at least if you once you clear the fight you're not basing your mitigation around like five percent shields you know it's more like if something goes wrong then the other classes are there to help you out so machines is technically fine. It's okay. It's just a question of like why isn't it a support like the other two? Like, it doesn't make sense to have a pure DPS fizz range, which, yes, sounds great on paper because it sounds really effortless and you'll do lots of damage, but then you look at equivalent selfish DPSs, Black Mage and Samurai, and it's like they have personals and shit, and we just don't... We, we don't even have that. We have Second Wind, and that's literally it. Like it, it, it. So it doesn't make sense for Machinist to exist as it does like if it had equivalent utility so you had like dancer as a healing fizz range you had machinist as a mitigation mid-range you had fizz range you had bard as a barrier his fizz range just as an example like then you would have equal reason probably to take any of the three because it wouldn't matter but the problem with machinist is that yeah okay like it, it like the, the damage is still viable, but it just feels like it's missing things that should be there. It, what's what's funny is that they know that because in PvP they did not go that route and they made the bishop <laughs> turret give the the very powerful shield yeah. pulsing shield effect, which I love. And it's just like okay. <laughs> Where's the creativity here now? from that team? Like, <laughs> can you talk to them, please? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, like with PvP, I... you know, it <laughs> that's a great place to test things, right? Uh, <laughs> it's not really the most successful place for Final Fantasy XIV, and if they mess something up, they're not going to piss off as many people as if they pissed them off in uh, PvE. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but they, <laughs> but, yeah. But, th but this bishop is good in PvP. They didn't mess that yeah. up. They yeah. made it better. So now, so now I'll bring it over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They should. I think, I think one thing especially that I want to uh, touch upon the machinist as well is, there's gonna be fights where you're gonna really like the extra DPS, for sure, but then you know, like we were saying about DSR, the amount. Uh, okay. Granted, it was harder in 6.1. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Not that much. But, um, yeah, like the amount of times we stop DPS, that, you know, what's stopping you at that point is not the DPS. It's the mitigation, right? You just need to survive. So in, in those cases, it's even uh, like flat out. Like, why would you bring a machinist over something else if you're never dying to damage? Even if machinist did a little bit more damage, or it fit a bit better. Um, there's a lot of fights where I think mitigation is just more important, and uh, or or just even <clears throat> movement in general, right? Like on uh, the neat hog phase, uh, oh, like as a dancer, you can be a much easier flex assigned person that you can quickly unavant 
to the spot you need to be, which um, the don't have. So it, it's a lot of things that they're lacking, I think. So it's very hard to make a case where they are actually uh, uh, competitive. And uh, a lot of times where they, they, they just, you know, they don't bring what the group needs, let's say. Uh, yeah. It just becomes a case of you play it because you like the job. I still yeah. like the yeah. job. I, 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 I oh. talk shit about it all the time, but I still enjoy the job. It's fast, it's fun, it's fluid. I, I like I, I like the reward of getting a static rotation right over a proc job. So like, there's a lot of reasons for me to like it, but you, you just know deep down that, or maybe not <laughs> even deep down, that it's just, like, it's lacking essential things that would make it fit nicely into the mold rather than trying to be something different and then failing it. Because even, like, at a competitive level, Dancer and Bard bursts, like, rival machinists. It's not mm -hmm. even, like, the burst damage itself is, like, insanely good. Like, they buffed it recently, sure, but it's still, I think it's still maybe slightly behind Dancer. I'm, I don't know the statistics exactly, but it's not like Dancer and Bard struggle with burst. It's just mm -hmm. that Machinist has, in general, some more in the meantime, I think. Hmm. The, w the one thing I will say Machinist has going for it is the most satisfying button to press in the whole game, at least the, the jobs I've played. The, what? Sorry? <laughs> no, the, say wildfire. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just, no, I was going to say the drill. Oh my god, the, yeah. when you drill, uh, it just feels good. It, you hear the sound, it's like beautiful, the visual pierces through. You feel like you're doing crazy damage and you know, Who's to say that you're not, right? Like, we don't know. <laughs> you're right, we, we don't know. We have <laughs> no clue. I think, I think in general, Machinist is visually one of the most aesthetically like pleasing jobs out there. Oh, I love my flips it's, and shit, man. God, yeah, it's, it's so good. It looks so cool. It, like, by far, out, outshines the other two. Fallen is just like, yeah, the utility and mobility, in my opinion, that's missing compared to the other two. I mean, I, will, I always thought, oh, what, what's your take on it, Saren? Like, do you think they just think of it as the PF class? Uh, honestly, yeah. I, I feel like it's almost like they've never, they'll never say it, right? But it feels like they want, they want it to be like an entry level job, even though it's not a level one job. And in PF, it's great because you're not relying on anybody else, but you have the most freedom. So in any PF group where, you know, people aren't playing so great, you, you can just, well, like, not excel, but, like, compared to the rest, like, it's not going to affect you at all. And because it's, quote-unquote, easy to pick up, I mean, I, 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 I dispute that a bit, because playing consistently is more difficult than it sounds, but... I think overall, like, it's just a PF job. You have barely any care in the world. You have tactician and that's it. You know, you don't have to think about pressing extra buttons. You just do your rotation and do your best. And that's about it. So I agree. I agree for the most part. Yeah, I just wish it wasn't that way because it just doesn't make sense as a concept anymore. <laughs> Chat. Uh, Stahl, who also arranged Fizz, player brings up a very key point about the problem with P Machinist being a PF only job. In that the oh. PFs lock it out, so you <laughs> can't see. play it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do they? It's, 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 it's pretty yeah. insane that people all think they're better. They're better off Damn. like taking advantage of buffs that they maybe can't. And then there's a machinist that doesn't even have to care and would probably outperform them anyway. Mm -hmm. So maybe oh, yeah, stop yeah, locking out a job that doesn't care about that, and the other two are only better if you can make use of it. Roger, have you had any experiences at all with Party Finder? Oh, <laughs> not, not really. Um, <laughs> it is something chat usually wants me to do. Uh, I did do it once in the previous raid, the um, P1 to 4S. That was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, generally we have our group and that's who I play with. Um, I do think it's a lot of fun though. Like it's, it's literally just a matter of time, like I said, right? Uh, and I told already my group because we had a little bit some issues this time with the re-clearing. Either we get seven other people plus me and we made like a blood pact, right? Like we are going to re-clear this raid eight weeks back to back 
no excuses. I said, okay, if if someone cannot make it, somebody better be dead or something, right? Like I don't I don't know. Like this, you make sure you're there, because. <laughs> Man, the the amount of like uh, like I, I I just it's annoying, right? Like trying to recreate, mm -hmm. then oh we're missing two people, and then you need to bring other people. But then do you do the party finder strat or do you do your own weird little strat? You know, um, so I said either we we get that going or we just instantly you know we kill the bosses, then we throw all of our strats to the garbage and we just do party finder strats fully, so then we can bring other people and just I don't know if we want we can go do our own thing. So, um, yeah, but I, I think generally, though, Party Finder is so well done, like in Final Fantasy. Um, I hesitate to say too much because I haven't experienced it enough to have a good opinion. But I think it's uh, it works, let's say. The system kind of works. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, if you want to do a clear, like I've heard from other people who go and solo do party finder um, clears in the week. And they said, yeah, I went, okay, yeah, maybe you struggle a little bit, but I got my PA test skill in one lockout. You know? Oh, I, I heard this hack, by the way. Is this true? If you're going to party finder, you better do it the first two days of the of the week. Yeah. If you wait until Monday, God help you, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that, yeah. Uh, is that... Yeah. Pretty okay. much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you want to, just, yeah, 100%. Um, there's a there's a running meme called the Monday Night Two Chest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going for the Monday Night Two Chest. Yeah. Every time I see one of those, I die a bit inside. I'm like, yeah. just let people help you get your book, please. Stop. Yeah, yeah I um, I don't Stop know what the it. fascination is. is yeah, with first clears, like people need to really let go of the whole two book thing for the first clear. Or two yeah. chest. The yeah. PF. yeah, just yeah, two chest, not two book. Um, because yeah. you need to clear it. Because guess what? If you get no book and no chests, you're worse off than one book <laughs> and zero chests or one. Yeah. You aren't going to win anything anyway. You lose the yeah. loot all the time. Don't even think about it. Yeah. So the deal I is... Felt that. I I ex <laughs> Just so you know, I exclusively prog the content in Party Finder. Uh, and I do that mostly because the world race, I have to run that whole event and do all this stuff and I'm exhausted and a whole bunch of life crap usually happens. And I don't get started until like a month or so after <laughs> everyone else is cleared. Uh, and so I get into Party Finder. I have to learn all the Party Finder strats. I have to learn and work with it. It's a great way to learn about the Final Fantasy XIV community. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the people who are maybe like, okay, the players in the community uh, not more of like the communities like on stream and everything else. Just the raw interaction with Final Fantasy fourteen players uh, that just want to clear content. And they do some really questionable things like that Monday night two chest stuff. Um, you, you get Tuesday night, Wednesday night, maybe Thursday. Then you need to start giving up, right? You need to just say, <laughs> all right. right. <laughs> you need, and if you haven't cleared it yet, you're always zero chest until you clear it. Mm always it is so you want people to help you that know what they're doing to have a better experience and just go ahead and clear it because there are people out right. there lots of people not just streamers who you know are doing it for content people just love doing the raids right people love going into party finder and trying to help people clear and everything else uh and they'll do it if you're okay not getting any chest uh and that is the best way to get your clears if you have to group of random people but people are so obsessed with getting loot <laughs> that like for the some reason they think it's going to change their life that they get the piece of gear <laughs> and they'll be able to finally clear stuff now <laughs> yeah, but that know. one chance where the item i need drops and i win the roll i need that you know it's uh, yeah. the motivation nah. oh. no you're you're right <laughs> um, i mean like I, I i i get the loot system is bad like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get into it too much because that's a whole other topic. But, like, I, I get the loot system is bad for PF. Like, I understand mm. that, you know, people fear just not getting anything for weeks because they can't. They're just not rolling good. Mm. Here's the tip. Die three times. Are you you muted yourself with your you die three times in a pool and you roll. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when you die three times. <laughs> I hit my mute button, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah die three times in a pool and you, and you are... You roll high, I promise. But anyway, that yeah. works. Yeah. That works in WoW as well. I, I can, uh, <laughs> yeah. I can say, yeah. 
And I, I, I did want to ask, though, by the way, because you were saying about people locking uh, the job out. And yeah. I heard also about this thing, in, especially in Japanese uh, servers, that um, uh, they, there's not enough healers in Part Defender, right? Uh, no, okay, okay, okay. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I just heard it. No, oh, I have sorry. an opinion about no. this. I have an opinion okay. about the lack of Roger, Roger, keep going. Uh, keep going, let, Roger, real quick. Yeah. Go. Keep going. I, the only thing I wanted to say is, like, surely these stats should be very easy for Square Enix to see. And, you know, if they see that a, a job is getting gatekept gate uh, from, uh, from these raids, wouldn't they take some action to, I don't know, right? Like, just... Push it a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm asking because I don't know, right? Like, I'm just the it's, healer it's situation. Question, not a... It's like reverse of the machine. Well, it's a different situation. Uh, but like, yeah, the <laughs> they do, they do from time to time. But it takes them a while. It's not like it's not quick, usually. Uh, but happy, go ahead with your opinions real quick. Yeah. So I am of the opinion, and maybe it's just me that there is not. A shortage of healers what there is is a surplus of fucking idiots um <laughs> and what i mean by this is that i have tried to go as a healer into the party finder and these motherfuckers are putting uh any chest clears monday night min item level 622 fucking all over they're just like jacking the min item level up in the first few weeks because yeah. they got all their fucking drops or they got funneled in their static or some shit and then they're like, I don't understand. Where are the tanks and healers that's, that have been cocked every week for the first five weeks of the tier? Mm. Mm. That's a good point. Yeah. That is a very good point. You're actually right. I'm just looking at Party Finder. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many any chess P5Ss I haven't been able to join because they're like 615 and I'm just in like full crafted? There's so many. Yeah. Yeah. Is, I, I think it no also way... speaks to the gearing issue as well, right? Yeah. Just because, you know, Yoshi's like, yo, just go play a healer then. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> with what gear? And then I go to PF and it's all 620. What do you mean? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Is there a way, because I, I, like I said, I haven't interacted with it a lot, but isn't there a way that you, the, like the group leader, let's say, um, can set it so that if you have cleared that boss, even in another job, it like, bypasses let's say the requirements or something mm. i don't know you could people wouldn't turn I... it on <laughs> no, yeah that's that true on. it would be interesting because okay. people they have this weird uh, well i had trouble just these people keep dying all the time because their gear's not high enough now you just probably had a bad experience right and they made these false conclusions everything else healing isn't even in this tier at least the first three fights it's not that bad I mean, it is, you yeah. do have to pay attention and there's bleeds and stuff, but you got so many tools to use. Uh, I I don't, this is my first tier healing and it's fun. I, I love doing it. Uh, even when people die, I'm like, oh, how do I figure out how to keep them all, bring them all back up and make it all work? And sometimes I can, and it's literally just pressing, pressing buttons, man. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. You're just pressing a button, and you're like, oh, well, I guess we need to have a little extra shield this time. Okay. Uh, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, there is, I think people get yelled at a lot for, the other thing is people get yelled at if people die, and they'll, they'll blame healers and stuff. I've never been blamed in a party finder, though, so I don't know. Even when I fuck up, people don't blame me. I don't think they have that level of awareness as much. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but with Bashidas, yeah, when they, they lock jobs out like that, it, it does feel, it, it's so stupid. The only thing that matters is someone can do the mechanics in Party Finder, and that's about it. I don't even go for like the 5%. I don't care. Just do the mechanics and we're okay. Do, do you think it's because they have just seen that they do less damage or whatever it is? Like they just... You know, it's from things they've heard, or is it from personal experience that they've had? It's never the personal experience. That, no, that's that's, that that's not true. I you know people so? used to lock samurai out just because it was like flavor of the month, and all the people who weren't good at it were oh, doing okay. it in PF. 
yeah i've seen i've seen people just be like i've had too many bad samurais i have to i have to remove them <laughs> so i think people just take statistics at face value and again they <clears throat> just forget that like player skill exists like they, it, it, for them, it's just not a factor because you know these are the same kinds of people who fuck up, and it's never their fault. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, for so example, the other day I had a guy, uh, I, I had a tank in a P5S clear party. Keep that in mind, clear party, and we wiped a devour because of course we did. It's and the, the first thing he says is, it's "Yo, so yo, 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 so who am I following? Like, like who am I following for devour?" And I said, "Nobody. You learn it yourself." And he just started swearing at me. Like, he just started, like, dropping, like, all kinds of words at me out of nowhere. <laughs> and, 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 like, and, until he was kicked. And I was just sat there, like, I was on stream at the time. I was just like, I, 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 how are people like this? This party hadn't locked out machinists, don't get me wrong. But, like, it's the same kind of attitude. Yeah. Because the people that lock it out don't know why they're locking it out, really. They just <laughs> see the t statistics or, like, you know, their casuals and their FC told them. And it's, oh, it's a pain. Yeah. I, 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 can I just throw this in there? Because I, I think, I mean, obviously we can, I'm with you, right? I'm not going to go against you. People <laughs> should lower their standards and all that. But, you know, realistically, I would say the power is more with Square Enix to try to fix some of these issues, right? Like, I don't think the community yeah. will suddenly flip their their way of doing things. I mean, we can advocate for it, but... Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm just thinking on what you said that if you even try to go healer, they just don't get you because the requirements are so high. If if there would be a way that you could queue up and they they could see just how many times you've cleared each boss on Savage, and you know if I see someone that has cleared like five times P8S, it's fine, right? I, I probably will prefer him or her over someone who hasn't cleared it at all but <clears throat> has ten I level higher. So I don't know, just somehow to make it a bit easier i don't know yeah I've, all that you I've can if you WoW go on there Legion. if you go on the achievements go on. page you can yeah. see that achievement because you have an achievement for five and ten clears or was mm -hmm. it eight? Oh, okay but they have uh, to show their achievements too i mean you can you can i don't know can you link achievements in 14 i don't think you can no I can't sure. yeah i think you, oh, you might be able to i can't remember but I don't know if you can link that you accomplished it. Like you could link maybe the achievement itself, but I don't know if you can link that you achieved it. Um, I don't know. I remember I've seen that system on WoW because I've I've played back in Legion. I, I actually think that's a good idea. I actually never thought of that as a system for Final Fantasy. That's actually a good idea because I think it would help people see rather than them just setting their requirements and then just going, this is what I want. I will accept nothing less. Like... They would see and be like, okay, maybe I should let this guy in. So I, I think that's a good idea, yeah. yeah there also I mean, we have to be times when you, well, you, when you link your book. <laughs> hey, I've cleared, I have this book. <laughs> Look at this book. <laughs> oh, the, the, the book. <laughs> Hello. Because <laughs> you said the achievements, yeah? Like, that's a lot of times in WoW, like, they ask, like, oh, link the achievement to see that you've killed the boss, right? And then we're one step ahead. People have made... Yep. ways to create fake achievements as if they've done it but it's not actually yep. true it's like <laughs> yeah we, we've already reached that level in wow yeah Jeez, well, they, they, people had to come up with something new because they couldn't just keep having their friend like send it's like oh let me let me message you from my main well i mean like the, i will going back to kind of machinist and changing it and you know trying to satisfy the community and make these differences and everything else i i feel like and maybe i'm wrong but i feel like they do uh have concerns of just being too quick to react with some of the changes and then kind of just messing things up because they have kind of done that before right uh, and they, they mess things up and the job doesn't feel right or it becomes overpowered. Astro has the biggest, oh, sorry, my, my chair broke a little bit, but Astro has like the biggest, craziest storyline of job changes, I think, since, uh, out of all of them. Uh, but like, they, they probably want to think about it. We're, we're going to have some insane, uh, changes coming up for Paladin soon, right? <laughs> That's a little bit weird to me. Uh, just real quick, since we're talking about jobs and changes and everything, how do you guys feel about completely changing Paladin? 
Have fun. <laughs> Good luck. We don't have Zeph on this show. He would have a, a field day with this topic, but yeah, it's, uh, he's very afraid. I'll relay I the message. I expect three for him. direct crit atonements. In <laughs> I expect Goring Blade to be gone. <laughs> Goring really? Blade Goring Blade yeah, I think they're going to get rid of oh, Goring yeah. Blade. Yeah, I, I think that would I, that would follow the trend. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're going to get rid of Goring, and they're just going to it's it's just going to be the back and forth between the atonements and whatever. I won't be surprised. Uh, I mean, I'm 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 happy for them to do that, but can we all agree that once that patch hits and the changes are in for at least a month, if we go on Party Finder, we lock that job out. <laughs> 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 hey. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Or, or it'll be only that job could go because it'll be overpowered and everybody needs to have a paladin. Yeah, true. Right? true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, Once a minute, they're going to press Holy Atonement and they can do three atonements back to back without the combo and then... Uh, yeah. They'll also get uh, every two minutes one use of <laughs> one one massive direct crit. I'm just making them warrior. That's yeah. all I'm doing. That seems to be the trend with tanks is if you're not gunbreaker, just make it warrior. I mean, they usually yeah. save complete changes for an expansion. Expansion. Yeah. Is Paladin so bad that they need to just go ahead and do it now? Yeah. Uh, really? It, it It's more that it just doesn't fit into their two-minute mold, I think. Mm -hmm. So they just want to fit it into that so they don't have to think about it anymore. Just like mm, everything yeah. else. <laughs> yeah, Because it's, it's unique on its own now, but now that's a bad thing. So <laughs> I, I think going to jobs, I think they really need to look at the way Monk is designed. And really, if they're going to go in a direction, they really want this one two-minute thing, they need to do something more with 40 second the 40 second timer because monk's 40 second timer is what makes it like flexible um still you know the game is rigid around it but i think that's the direction they need to work towards a little more i don't know are you guys happy about the yeah oh, god i can't say that word it makes me so angry you now say it, i'm just gonna give you a look yeah time. i know i know that's why uh but are you content that they are doing this one to two minute thing? Would you rather it be kind of a jumble that people had to kind of figure out uh, what makes sense out of the jobs they have? Yeah. Jatterbringer's design over and Walker design. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Roger, okay. yeah, I go. Mean, as a newer newcomer mm -hmm. a little bit, uh, it didn't feel to me too much like i understand that it's just way too concentrated right now but looking back at Shadowbringers, okay our comps were not like really weird let's say um so it it didn't feel too much of a change let's say right like uh, uh what was it like bard back then had uh, the three minute battle Same voice right TV, yeah yeah i mean and you just press it like every you know you had it the first time, you had it lined up, then the second time it was by itself, and then, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do think having at least more one-minute things would be really nice. Because I, like, I remember back then with Streak Attack, that was like a nice little moment in, in, in the middle. Um, especially with Machinist, with the timing the uh, your the robot, yeah. the queen. I, yes. agree. I agree with you so uh, much. <laughs> that, that that was a uh, thing really cool back then um but i don't know if if i don't know if you guys are suggesting more like let it all loose i don't know like some people have 45 minutes some people want 45 minutes. I, don't, I don't know <laughs> hey, sorry, <laughs> no, that'd be great i would <laughs> love that <laughs> no I, uh, I i wouldn't want to like destroy it fully let's say and you know, because then it will start making it a little bit hard to bring things together at all. I don't know. I, I don't know how that looks, let's say, and I'm a little bit scared if we go the pendulum all the way in the other side. Um, but I, I agree, though, that it's a bit too much. Like, everything is two minutes. I don't like it. And the one minutes are generally, eh. It's like, mm -hmm. at least for, for yeah. the physics range, I mean, eh, you know, like... I guess I do a little bit extra damage. Mm -hmm. Sidewinders like is a <laughs> Sidewinders is a button, I guess. I'll press it. <laughs> like, well, um, it's like this whole thing of just 
of course, you make it easier for people who don't want to think too much versus people who do want to think a lot, right? So you're taking away the mm-hmm. challenge of like hardcore groups versus uh, making everyone kind of on the same level and just lowering the ceiling, raising the floor, whatever you want to say uh, to all that. And so it's a really good question to ask you, Roger, your thoughts on just job difficulty overall in comparison to like other MMOs and everything else. Uh, do you feel, feel like Final Fantasy XIV's at like a decent level for job difficulty or way too easy? No, I wouldn't say it was too easy. Um, I think it's very, very nice. Like, I, I wouldn't... I will say, you know, that fees ranged overall. I have... Okay. I have <laughs> not played anything else. Okay? <laughs> I've not played anything except fees ranged. So okay. it's very hard for me to say this. But mm-hmm. it does feel like it's not like the most challenging rotation let's say right or at least you can do 95 percent of your damage quite comfortably i would say right like okay if, if you can mess up a little bit on bard like oh you you missed an extra proc with your imperial arrow you overwrote it it's it's not like a huge thing um so yeah i would say it's very easy to like reach 95 percent that last like five percent i think it's very uh, there, there is a lot of skill there, especially like two-minute window with the dancer. It's a lot of you're you're playing like piano basically on your keyboard for yeah. like ten seconds. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like the bar, a little bit sometimes with the songs. There's a lot of cool things to do when there's downtime. Um, sometimes that feels like ooh, you know, like I figured it out how I'm gonna play my songs and it makes perfect sense all around. And sometimes it's like, well, it just sucks. And I don't like this at all. Um, so it's a little bit hit and miss, I think, there. Because I don't, maybe the group wants to delay your two minutes. And you're like, yeah. I'm glad you guys can do that. I cannot do that. Uh... <laughs> I know that feeling um, so hard. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, overall, I think it's in a good state. I will say, though, I do think people that say, that machinist is like an easy job and that's it's like an entry job kind of like that's why because they mentioned something like oh it doesn't do more damage because it's not as complicated or, or something along those lines right didn't they say something some people say that yeah no i think it was in a live letter that oh they, is that what they, they, they said specific, not not in the live letter in the in a guy? post i think for the balance of the pa test mm. uh they didn't say specifically machinist they just said in general that their philosophy of how they uh, tune the different jobs is they take into consideration how complicated they are to play. Um, right? Or am I... Did I... Do I don't know. I don't... Is oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, I do think it's a little bit weird if you put the machinist in that position when you already have the dancer, which I don't think is that hard either. Admittedly, it has even more tools to survive. So I would make a case that maybe Machinist is honestly harder than, than Dancer. Um, so why are you putting them in that position? If anything, make Machinist even harder to play and just give them more damage. I don't know, make, make them have a niche. Because I think right now, that's what the main thing is. Like Machinists don't have like a niche that makes them good in any case uh, as much. Um, so yeah, I, I would say they, they could increase the difficulty a little bit on the fees range. Um, and I do think it's maybe like the, the nice little thing because I do a lot of shot calling in our raids. I think Fizz Range is very well suited to do that. So I really, you know, it keeps me um, quite, uh, what's the correct word? Like, it keeps the content quite challenging if you have to shot call mm. and do your rotation. It feels good as a package. I think if you are only focusing on the rotation, um, it can feel a little bit too too simple let's say if someone else is yeah. calling for me yeah mm-hmm. i remember like I, when you say that like increase the difficulty of the jobs it's definitely possible and as a side note melis are the big winners of this expansion because they get all the things to enjoy but pretty much all the other worlds are like very relatively simple um i forgot who mentioned this comment but it was on one of the previous fizz range mock talks Someone mentioned that SE might consider Bard or Fizz Range in general as like the beginner kind of role. Like, let's say you have a friend who's like new to MMOs and you have to like 
give them an advice on like, yo, what class should I pick? And you just tell them, yeah, pick bar. It's pretty good. It's pretty simple. And maybe they still mm -hmm. stick to that design. Yeah, it, it feels yeah, weird. Know. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was, I mean, I, I was just gonna say, yeah, it's just, it's a little weird. And <clears throat> talking about the machinist being easy, I, there's one aspect of machinist that when people talk about it being easy, I always think it's overlooked for casual players. Casual players are not good at knowing when to hypercharge. <laughs> They'll like clip drills and air anchors and chainsaws because there's like, <clears throat> I have 50 gauge. Bam, bam, bam. Drills like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> see ya <laughs> see ya mm -hmm. speaking of clipping that's another issue of machinist oh, yeah. it's not, <laughs> it's oh, not no. very enjoyable on high ping and i'm not sure why they <sighs> haven't addressed this at all i tried asking he just he, he just said no yeah I, <laughs> yeah i know i i, I kudos I to you for that. trying I so but, man yeah. i actually <laughs> left my seat when i watched that I, I i just couldn't believe that 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 like complete fucking denial of the problem even existing I, I i was just i was beside myself i was like how can you ignore this like there's been years of threads complaining about this and they say they don't have enough feedback people have literally shown you evidence of like packet loss of like how the server responds like I, what's the deal how can you just like it might just be that they don't know how to fix it so or something so they're just sh shoving it under the rug until we shut up but it, it just yeah well another funny thing is I, they I, have fixed stop. it for other jobs but not yeah. for machinists yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, you know, it, it just it feels could, like the, it could the be least such a simple child. change as well right you have a call yeah. roger <laughs> one second i have a call sure. one sec sure sure <laughs> Oh, oh, it, it, it's it's Alex, and he says, "What are you guys talking about? I, I, I don't, I don't have any issues." <laughs> okay, okay, I stop, I stop. Sorry, I I'm normally that guy because I have like ten ping, so I'm normally that guy. Yeah. Too, you know? Oh man. No. Yeah, but yeah, just, know, get like, just get better internet. Just get better. If you just uh, yeah. made hypercharge, like a five stack buff you get, and then you just press it five times and. Oh, Maybe I wish, the, man. I the, made a whole uh, video about this, and I was like, yeah. there's so many ways to fix it. And here's like, I'll just I throw wish. one out. Yeah. <laughs> As you, for the, uh, just just quickly for the, mm -hmm. sim, like, the di job difficulty bit, though. Like, I'm just of the opinion now, and this might sound a bit jaded, but I'm of the opinion that bad players are going to be bad. Like, it doesn't matter how much you simplify stuff. <laughs> they, they don't <laughs> fucking care. Like mm -hmm. they just don't. So why, why slot everything into this two-minute meta, which has a lot of its own issues? Again, a different topic, you know, mm -hmm. with just all the spike damage and whatnot, and how much crit matters and buffs and whatnot. But like, yeah, I, I, I just, I just don't get it. It's like it doesn't matter what you do; people won't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And I actually think the two minute window made it worse for bad players, despite the effect, because now they're bad and they're bad during the only time it's important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So like before with the, with the Shadowbringers design, every 30 seconds, if you fuck up, you could kind of slot something in there. Like if you died and you need to catch back up or kind of fit back in, there's ways to fix it. Now it's just like, I'm just bad forever. So yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm pretty much yeah i do think like the whole like the job is easier it should do less damage is always like it feels like a cop out to me because in the end you could just make every job a little bit you know challenging and if you're good at the job you do more damage it's just like saying all right well I, let's just simplify and make the, the level like i like playing paladin oh okay well we're gonna make it really really easy and you're gonna do low damage well maybe i don't like playing paladin anymore you know, I buff it, but it's still easy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I played Paladin, man, back in, oh, this is old man time, Realm Reborn. Uh, but we had like one, one, two. Was it one, two, or did we actually have a three? I can't remember if we had a three back you, then. You guys have a three. You just don't get the three till like 20. Like, what is Rage of Holony? It was like 26 or something. Yeah. And that was literally your combo was one, two, three. One, two, three. And that was, was all you did. only the enmity combo. Yeah, even all if you yeah. weren't in tank stance, you only had your enmity <laughs> you combo. You did that. Uh, and it just reminded me of just like how uh, we, we have gone a long way from that position to where we are now. Uh, and I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I feel like every job should have the opportunity to do good. All right? You shouldn't be locked behind this whole, well, it's a simple job thing. It feels weird. It feels like a lazy cop out. And I'm sorry, but it does. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, I think you, you want to be in a situation, like I was talking to our healers <laughs> after DSR, and they said, I mean, I, again, I have no idea about healing, but they said something along the lines of, oh, uh, Astro is very good in King Thornton phase, and also same for Sage for the Giga Flares and all that. Uh, but, you know, for the other phases, you know, White Mage and Scholar are pretty good there. You know, like, you want to have something like that where it feels, okay, there's situations where my job is better than the other one. So I think they just need to find that. And like I said, I mean, the only time I, uh, with, I, I haven't done too many bosses, but the only time where I felt like, ooh, Machinist is like, pretty good here i don't think it would be better to bring something else like a dancer or a bard um the only time i felt that was on shiva so e8s the intermission when you have to like kill those little things that come into the center because you just have big hitting abilities True. and the reflect the reflective damage doesn't really hurt you as much and you could build a ton of resources reliably which is another thing i hate when I'm trying to build my resources on Dancer, and oh I just my. get bad RNG. Oh my god. I, oh, oh. Roger, my... Roger. This <laughs> happened to me this morning. We were doing E8S. We were doing it at like level 90, but with like less gear. So we get to keep our level <clears throat> 90 abilities, but we get to do the level 80 content as if we're progging it. And mm -hmm. I went from the end of Light Rampant till the end of ads, and I got one feather the entire time. <laughs> one. Oh, man. Yeah, I was about to mention yeah. that the the one good thing I think Machinist has, as of right now, in comparison to the other two, is if they would put something into an ultimate that has like a really, really short like uptime and you need to burst it down. Like something in the past that they've done is the Titan Jails. Where for example on Bard or Dancer, if you have nothing saved up, you would kinda flop, but as a machinist, you could uh, use your reassemble and drill it, and it would die very fast. But that's a very, very niche situation. Yeah, mm. they need something more. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah Why RNG is, is... Wildfire the only one that doesn't crit, by the way? <laughs> Why is Wildfire the only <laughs> ability in the entire game that you can't crit? <clears throat> I mean, if it did it crit, it would be pretty big, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so <laughs> what? <laughs> It's just you such an unsat. Like good. we talked earlier about drill being so super satisfying, <laughs> but it's to offset the fact that wildfire exists. Mm. Also, also it doesn't AOV. What is that about? It's a bomb, it right? PvP. It doesn't PVP. <laughs> <I was gonna laughs> <say. laughs> it doesn't PVP. It's a great job, even as a fucking sniper. Oh, Sorry, man. but I'm not a physics expert, but bombs. They explode <laughs> in an area, right? Like, <laughs> unless we're charging it into their mouths. I, and they swallow it. I think it should AOE a bit. Yeah, Yo, yeah. Um, Some gut should do damage and stuff when it blows. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Speaking of PvP, how would you feel if they implemented the... You know how in PvP as machinists, when you, when you do an attack, you cast while you walk, right? But you walk mm -hmm. slow. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if mm -hmm. they did that for the PvE machinists, but only machinists? And then they yes, give please. it a little bit more damage. Yes, please. Just, just, just give it to me. I'll take casts, please. I, I don't play sense. it for the movement. Just give it to me. <laughs> I'm desperate. <laughs> I do think movement is a fun mechanic to kind of play around with, and that if they could punish you for using certain abilities at certain times to slow you down, I think that would be fun. Uh, but I don't know. I'm a little masochistic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I do agree as well. I, I think yeah. that is a very cool thing. Like in, <clears throat> in WoW also there was another thing where if you stood still, like this like a couple expansions ago, but if you stood still for like six seconds, you got like a buff that lasted for 15 seconds. So then you were incentivized to not run around all the time. You had to stand still, get the buff, then move, then stop again, get the buff again. Not the most fun thing to do, but, you know, at least something challenging because the freedom of movement that you have as a fizz range, I think it's, that is the main reason why probably they're, afraid to buff the the jobs right um so yeah i don't know make it that you can't move as freely like that or that you can but it's not the best dps wise 
Well, they did try uh, yeah, would... that a little bit with Bard back in, uh, in a little bit as well with Machinus, not as much, but with Bard for sure in Heaven's Word way back in the day, and they had to cast their abilities, uh, and so they had to stand still for a lot of it. And I, some people liked it, <laughs> but a lot of people didn't. Machinist was great with it because Machinist, Machinist had a lot of yeah, yeah. Machinist had a lot of optimization around it because you could, you got free casts with ammo. So. Yeah, it, it's funny because the current situation that we're facing, where Fist Range is kind of at the bottom of the barrel, stems from back then when they first introduced the second Fist Range, show, which was Machinist, and I think it was by the time of three point two when Machinist got its first larger buffs and 3.3 where Bard got buffs that you had a short phase in the game where you actually excluded the caster from the entire group and you just went double fizz ranged and uh, when this happened they just kind of decided that they do not want this to ever happen again and since then the fizz range have been relatively <laughs> low good old days I mean, Bard machinist dragoon ninja yeah times. I mean once upon a time fizz served more of a purpose right like, I mean, I started in 4.1, so I can't speak for Heavenswood, but, you know, fight design in Stormblood was very much like, like, Fizz range filled a gap that Melee couldn't. Like, you know, yes, we're gonna, I'm gonna say the word hitboxes again. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like, you know, they, they had a purpose, they could make up, there were mechanics that Fizz range could excel at to allow other people to have odd time. But now we don't have that. Now we have free uptime, caster mobility, and fizz range free movement is just there because it's there. Which if is yeah, that's, that's was made now, itself. if it was made now, annihilation would happen from the middle of the room, and you you would send like a monk to go do one of the towers or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, and for example, yeah, even in, o, in, in do you remember O eleven in the Pantocrator two? Yeah, yeah, there was also a fizz range yeah. thing, and then. I remember they they some people made paladin do it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I I when I went to play in JP for a bit, and they until the day that that tier was not relevant anymore, go to the corner with Hallow. <laughs> oh man, I do think it's still kind of awkward that they squeeze physical range and magical range into like a certain spot and then have two melees there. <laughs> it, for some reason, it doesn't feel. I don't know. It feels awkward. <laughs> what, what, what are your thoughts on that? Having three different DPS roles, but melee takes up two in the physical range and uh, magical's there, but you only get a bonus if you have physical range, magic, and melee. It at least gets us a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it too much, personally. I think it's okay. I, yeah. Okay. Why are we always talking about having two melee? It's true. Right now, right now it makes sense. <laughs> but you know, it's true. I mean, I, I, I do think it would make less sense if they start if they add more jobs to the right. caster and the fizz range, right? Like right now, there's a bit too ma too many jobs in melee. That if the meta was to bring only one melee, a lot of those jobs would just be kind of dead, right? So mm -hmm. I think it makes. I, I think it's okay. I don't know. I don't know, because melee, especially with Reaper buffs in the latest, latest patch, um, I think people are pretty comfortable taking any one melee and not really complaining about it. You know, like not being like, oh, I wish we had this melee instead. Mm -hmm. True. So, um, but with ranged and caster, there is a job where they're like, eh, next patch. <laughs> true. True. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, go ahead. I do want to say one. It's a little bit. It's off topic, yeah. But I just, I, I, I need to get it out of my chest. Mm -hmm. Why you're a machinist, yeah? Like when I first heard the word of machinist, I was like, yes, that's gonna be a, you know, a badass motherfucker, yeah. Like yeah. it's gonna be awesome. And then I log in game, and I look at the gun, and I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> what is it? Why is it? Why is it like a pistol? Oh my god, Roger, have you seen the Makai hand mortar? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. You, what... somebody, you, need to, so you need to log in and somebody needs to link you the Makai hand mortar. It's from the Garo event. Yeah. I mean, you well, actually, the Garo event's in the yeah. game right now. You can get it, can't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Okay. There's some good guns, but you have to look. I do think a lot of the guns yeah. are a little bit 
Listen, not so they're crazy. Good guns, but why do you only have one? Like, I ha it's a one-hander, right? <laughs> why do I have only one gun? What am I doing with my other hand? You know? Gadgets. Like, gadgets? You used to reload. You got a chainsaw. Yeah, you got through. Oh, yeah, with, with drill and air anchor. I mean, yeah, he two hands the thing and then just blast it out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just saying, I wish there were two-handed weapons or double Beretta, basically, or something. I don't know. I think <laughs> it's lacking a little bit on that department. It's okay. a, maybe it looks a little bit off on the Hrothgar because it's a little bit bigger, you know, so then the weapon looks kind of small. I, I don't know what it is. But don't uh, worry, the Makai hand mortar will fit in your hand just perfectly. Okay, okay, I need to log in and see what that is. About. Yeah, oh. Look for it, yeah. Uh, I do think that my my hope was that there would be there'd be a lot more robot stuff. I mean, there's some in there, but I, I was hoping for a little bit more. Dude, uh, just let them get in the robot for yeah. 20 seconds and control. 7.0, let's do it. Gundam. I mean, to be fair, if they did that, it would take eight seconds of animation to get into the robot before you could start attacking, and <sighs> then you'd only be in it for 12 seconds. But, just do know, double the damage, and you're okay. Right? Just a huge <laughs> burst. Make up for it. Uh, it'd be fun. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, I, I do have a like a serious one now as well. Sure. sure. Um, I don't know if I, uh, probably has been discussed before, but I do think as well, and maybe we're talking a bit, maybe too much about machinist, but it's just like an overall thing, and just because this discussion with machinist has gone uh, um, quite, you know, mm -hmm. widespread in the community, <clears throat> um, for progression especially, uh, you can make the argument. I think what was it, Mister Happy said like, oh yeah, for prog. Not so good. After prog, it's okay. I, I don't know who said it. Yeah, and I think that's not going to change if they don't make other changes because, and uh, you know, the math is, you know, that's how I think about it. If you have a static and you're progging, you are never going to give any loot to your fizz range, right? Because you're going to give it to the melee or I don't know the black maids or whoever. Um, so if you are not contributing with buffs to the group. Which, you know, like if my DPS is like 10% of the buffs or 15, I don't even know, know how big it is for Dancer and Bard. If other people get the gear, I essentially gain DPS, right? But as a machinist, you don't get anything from that. And because you'll never get gear first as a prio, it's just doomed, yeah? You know what I mean? Like, this is just... It's very hard, let's say, to be competitive on top of the other things for prog so i don't know maybe they just need to give up and give some buff as well some raid buff or something mm -hmm. or make it like a legit case that they should get gear i don't know how you do that though like that doesn't sound realistic either uh, over the melees and whatnot so yeah I, I just want to bring that up as well i don't know what you guys thoughts are on this it's it's certainly true that like early statistics are skewed because you know Obviously, the melees are going to get funneled first because they do the most damage. So when you're getting gear early because you're clearing earlier, then, of course, Dancer then reaps the benefits from that completely. 100%. Like, that's 100% true. Um, <clears throat> Machinist tends to do better at, like, a median level. Like, at, the medi at a median level, the gap is a lot smaller. Like, right now, with the 0.28 buffs, like, I think Machinist, like, is, is doing fine. But, again, as you said, once you get to the high level, that's where it becomes what we said earlier, which is Lirilus. You play it because you enjoy it, and you're good enough that you're not causing your group a problem. But they will still look at you like, yeah, but curing Waltz, though, you know? <laughs> Just keep giving you a side glance, like, yo, do you know we, we would have lived that if you had curing Waltz? So it becomes yeah. the butt of the jokes. Um... So yeah, as I said, like towards the start, I think it's best to drop this idea of a pure DPS because it clearly doesn't work. Like the concept isn't viable anymore with uh, current fight design and current job balance. Hmm. So if they're gonna keep it like this, the machinist purpose needs to change entirely. Where just just give it back, like dismantle, give it like make peloton like something else, make it useful in combat, like expedient on scholar. Like, just, just do something that gives it extra buttons to press. Like, the, at this point, there's no reason not to. And then, yeah. that by doing that, the, the damage is fine. Like, the damage doesn't matter anymore because it's bringing something 
the the others bring as well. Like giving it a raid buff, like I don't know really. Like I don't want everything to be exactly the fucking same. Yeah, it's the but... cheap way out, right? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you know, I want it to have like its own space and its own uses, but its own use right now is just existing, uh, as Zep said, as a party finder job and just a job you play because you enjoy. There's no, like, big benefit to having it over anything else. Well, yeah, I mean, that makes PVD sense. Fish no. PVD yeah. fish and turret. It's sitting, it's sitting there. <laughs> it's right there. It's I don't know why damage. they took it away at all. Like, you know, I, I've, you know, there's always that conversation about battery as well. Like, if we want, we can talk about AoE if you want. Like, over time, Bioblaster has not been touched for the entirety of Endwalker. And Drill has been getting buffed incessantly. At the start of Endwalker, Bioblaster was a 50 potency gain on two targets. Now it's zero. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. Like they they they're just doing such a half job on the on the class constantly. So like, it is it two just, different it feels jobs. So weird. Even within its yeah. own design, like all yeah. like it's literally you have the single target version of the job and the AOE version of the job. They don't like overlap at any point. Yeah. Hmm. So 100%. I'm going to ask it to ask it. Are are we thinking that the changes they made recently to the uh, machinist the potency changes mean very little to helping it in the current state and what what's wrong with it it sounds like <laughs> no but I'm, I'm just i'm just being given like copium tanks it's like they're running low a patch comes we get a buff like keep huffing boy like it's just <laughs> it's just insane man like I, I, ugh, I, I Yo, could go on for hours. I'm, I'm, great I'm, idea. <laughs> I'm gonna let someone else speak. I could go on for hours. I'm. I got a CPAP machine. I need to just put copium <laughs> like on a thing. So it's like while I'm sleeping. It's, it's the copium pap machine. Oh my! Why did I not do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, and you guys aren't even gonna get another physical range next expansion either. You already got Dancer. It's done, right? You're not going to get another one. Yeah, it's right? probably casting. Why not? Probably casting. Yeah. Probably casting. I mean, logically, oh, really? it should be like Fizz Range and Dance and uh, Caster, right? So you think so? Yeah, I'm not confident work, we're getting but... two. Is the like if we get two, absolutely. You think? You think? Yeah, but if, I think we're I only getting know. one, and it's going to be Caster because Red Mage is the last Caster. Yeah, Blue Mage, you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, where yeah. is my Blue Mage update? I want more he Blue He said, Mage. please wait a little longer. Just to <laughs> You know, but... Are they ever going to release another limited job? Or are they just like, no. Blue Mage, we're done? No. <laughs> no. I think my the joke is the are machine is, is the limited job now. So we do <laughs> yeah. have two technically. <laughs> oh, it, it's getting phased out to, to that category very soon. Pretty much, yeah. mm. you're just gonna go. You're just going to find like a... Like a like an archery thing, you're just gonna shoot that, and that's gonna be your entire job function. <laughs> They're gonna change it to a, a fashion accessory. <laughs> well, to, be fair, to be fair, like with each buff, it's getting better in like POTD and having on high solo. So, I guess that's its only niche now. Yeah, but... I did hear it's um, it's really good on the Criterion dungeon. Or am I getting debated? That's all I heard. Criterion normal. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? But nothing's bad in Criterion, really, yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. In Criterion, no, it was they just the, the RDPS jobs, like the answer yeah. mark, mm -hmm. so they do more damage oh, comparatively. Ah, okay, so maybe it was it's... like at the start, it, they were better, but not anymore. Well, no, they well, like when they released it, they gave bonuses to certain jobs yeah. going in there to balance it out. It's only when you're in that content, though. Amazing how jobs with raid buffs, they had an answer immediately to having less people, but for machinists, they did. I was, was going to say, yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Because, I mean, it changes the whole dynamic, uh, not being able to buff, you know, eight people. <laughs> so you, the usefulness of the job does definitely go down. So I'm glad they at least thought about that before releasing this. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so let's, let's have a fun few minutes here with speculation of like the next physical range job that will come to the game since we, we talked about it a little bit 
Do you guys even have any thoughts on that? Puppet Master. Come on. What? I, I, I made the whole... I, I did a whole thing on this. On making Puppet Master arranged fizz. I, did, I got this. Or Corsair, yeah. But that's fine. What? These are Final Fantasy XI jobs, Frosty. Oh, I, okay. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know enough Final Fantasy lore to help here, but didn't they say also that they're gonna go off from the lore moving forward and do their new stuff? Or they said they they will if they have to. Like they they're like, oh, we'll just we won't we're we're, we're not beholden to it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, yeah. They kind of already have like Gunbreaker. Yeah, it's like a bunch of Final Fantasy eight references, but there's no job like that. You know, Sage also is. There's no job like that in the other games. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is there, was there ever anything, because I'm like thinking back like to other games. Um, and I remember back then in Diablo 2, uh, there was the Amazon and you could play with a bow and stuff, but you could also make a build with a javelin. Is that something that could be considered Final Fantasy lore-ish? You know, just throw some uh, spears or something? They, they heavily relate that stuff to Dragoon, but I assume mm -hmm. that they would probably uh, be able to find something out <laughs> with it and make it work. Why not? Uh, but I don't know. Like It's hard for me to envision much more. I think they're going to start struggling for sure for jobs. And I, I really am expecting one job per expansion going forward at most. The only struggle I think they're going to have is the idea of releasing more than one. I think if you sat them down and, you know, the, the developers who are largely in charge of that and tasked them all with coming up with it up, I don't think they'd struggle to come really? up with new ideas. No, because there's a lot of things they haven't done that are either fantasy, fantasy, like RPG genre tropes, or even things in other Final Fantasy games, like whips or something in the other games. We don't have a whip job in this <laughs> game, for example. Yeah. So... That's like, oh there's, my God. there's plenty Wait, of, and then one handed about... axes, you know, like, yeah. there's, there's all sorts of things. The Indiana Jones whip, yeah, like, yeah. Dancer yeah. does whip in other games, right? It can, I yeah, can't, Beastmaster I can can't also. Even... <laughs> yeah. That will be, there will be a lot, if that, if they put that in the game, Limza is going to be filled with those, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> don't, go to, don't go to Limza after 6 p.m. They need to make it to where you can do an action without targeting someone with the whip, and you're going to have a great time over it. In there. You're going to see the Lollafell, um, you know, the play dead, where they're just like, there's like ass out and they're just going to have sex. <laughs> yeah. gonna, you're going to see oh that God. in Limza all the time. It's shit like that that you're going to see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They could do a proper crossbow class. Yeah, yeah. crossbow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they could do that. <clears throat> uh, just call it Ranger or whatever you would call it, right? And they could they could make it work. Um, we were supposed to have their their guild still there for Musketeer if they ever want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oy. There's a lot of Man, you guys are just saying stuff in chat. Time Mage doesn't even make sense in physical I, yeah, I, I No, not as fizz ranged, but I can make it make sense in 14. Yeah, in 14, those. but not in like... I mean, it, technically it sort of exists in some realm with Astro, but... Yeah. Um, They've gone back in that direction. I'm a big fan. Yeah. It used to be way more Time Magey when it can extend buff timers and stuff. <laughs> like I said, Astro's had a fun life in this game. Fun? Like, sure, that's yeah. the word. Uh, if you didn't like R, you don't like RG with a uh, machine or whatever, you know, with dancer getting buffs, you would have had a, a fun time with Astro back in the day. You had to like always balance, just get balance out of six cards, right? Uh, and that was it. Frosty in the media tour when I was trying to get Astro footage, it took me nine minutes to pull a lord instead of a lady. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I, I'll go ahead and ask, do you think any of the physical range jobs need a complete rehash of the job like Paladin's going to be getting soon? I think the whole role just needs revisiting at this point. I know that's a big undertaking, so I know it's not going to happen. I can hope and I can wish, but I, I think the whole role just needs repurposing at this point. How would you repurpose it? Support. Support mostly. I think just like right now we exist for the 1% in 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 party bonus. 
There's even been arguments that it's not even necessary. Like, I'll always say it is because vitality is important too, right? But I, I think just making it support, again, one healing, one mitigation, one barrier or something. Or if they can do more creative shit with it, do that too. Like, I, I don't have all the answers or ideas, but I just know that the, the current way it is now with fight design, like, we're just semi-pointless, kind of. At least it feels that way. Can I ask a question actually on this? Because uh, uh, I don't know if this is just my echo chamber, but um, <laughs> I mean, you said Frosty that you really enjoy it, and I, you know, I'm I'm with you. I I do believe it, it can be very enjoyable, especially on prog. But I've heard complaints about the the healers being like very, you know, once you have things on farm, you they, like. You basically just DPS pressing one button or two buttons, and that's it, right? If you're in a uh, static, you... I only do party finder, yeah. so it's always fucked up. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. So, <laughs> but so, but yeah, if you're in a static, killers get real dull and boring. What's this figured out? Yeah. So I don't know if that is like something people feel needs changing, but since you brought up like full like reworks essentially, like I don't know, like I'm just saying this because this has been a pretty vocal thing from mm -hmm. the people I've played with. So maybe, you know, if they were to simultaneously do some changes there where the healers are not so much like just two buttons, but they do a bit more DPS and they have something there, and then maybe the fees range can be like way more of a, like uh, like you said, a support role where you can actually, though, help out with healing maybe a bit more. Like, I don't know, like do something that is not just one curing walls every minute. So that uh, essentially you can let then the healers do a bit more DPS. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, but yeah. back in the day, man, healers healers had some stuff they had to do. <laughs> they had to get accuracy. <laughs> they had to like use this thing called cleric stance. Uh, it, it was it was a whole thing. Um, and then they, I yeah, think they. <laughs> Am I fully off here? Like no, is, you're like, not. It's just my no. echo chamber thing. Like no, not really. Yeah. The thing I, is, I think, like, go, go ahead. Well, you guys, go ahead. You're the guest. Um, I was just gonna say, like, the problem is, my in part the player base. People moan when there's too much healing to do, because you know people don't press their mid buttons because they're bad. People are chatting on healers, etc. But then the other part of the problem is people moan when there's not enough healing to do. So you have to be careful when having a support role because you need to make sure that the raids are doing enough damage to justify it. Otherwise, it's just, again, it's a complete waste, at least in my opinion. So I think part of the problem is also just like perceptions towards it because, again, you know. There's been points raised about the healer shortage, but of course part of that is also just healers getting sick of healing because they can't be asked to deal with morons. So <laughs> it's like a three-pronged... It's like, you know, there's several mm. sides to it. Mm -hmm. Not a lack of healers. Surplus of fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty yeah, much I the mean, same thing, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to, like, necessarily diverse the conversation with healers specifically. I'm just Sorry. thinking, like, is there something there where... Because if they gave us more healing abilities in any of the jobs, I mean, it's not needed right now, right? Like, then it would just be, like, redundant. But, so that's why I brought it up, like, it would have to simultaneously be, like, oh, yeah, you want, like, a Fizz Range to have, like, your two healers plus the Fizz Range, and then you're good for the group. Uh, but, I mean, if that doesn't happen, and I don't think that's realistic, at least not this expansion. Yeah. Um, well, then, then you also uh, go into dungeons, right? And you're like, all right, well, you just have a, a weak DPS in the dungeon <laughs> at that point, right? Uh, true, yeah. Or you just give them really good AoE. It doesn't matter because that's all fucking dungeons are anymore. Anyways, all right, AoE and boss and kind of boss fights. So this wouldn't help Machinist, but there's also been a severe lack of really any sort of multi-target slash AoE slash anything at all that can differentiate jobs that are strong or weak at different points we used to have more fights with phases where having really good aoe short-term aoe was something you had to consider with a job or if you didn't have it you had to consider where you could make up for it um that's not a thing really 
anymore. Even two targets barely a thing anymore. So it's just uh yeah. They made a dungeon boss that's only AoE until the end. So Yo, let's not talk oh. about that. Thing. Every time <laughs> they've done that, it's not been Oh my god. Like, <laughs> like even like it's not a great fight to pull back as an example, but A two S, which was essentially trash the fight, you know, the second attempt, because turn four would technically be the first fight. Yeah. Like I imagine I think hey, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into detail about them, Rob. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, yeah. I'm just it's gonna fine. say Didn't you wait, did you <laughs> turn four? You never did turn four? What did you say? A, or, a or, oh, yeah, and then Alexander. Alexander? Yeah, the second fight. You haven't yeah. done any Alexander? Oh, wow. I, for some reason, I thought you had no. done some. Only Eden oh. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Um, Y'all fun with that one. Yeah, but there's just a lot of, there's a lot of AOE. There's a lot of, like, if we had the tools we have now for a fight designed like that or fights that had phases that were like that now, some jobs could probably stand out a little bit better than other jobs. You'd probably see more situational kind of appreciation. Um, but we just don't see that. I mean, it's why in, in meteor phase and thornton everyone goes nuts for dancer and an astral all of a sudden they're just like these jobs are amazing this phase is so easy we don't need the lb <laughs> but you don't get that appreciation outside of like very fringe cases like that you know back in oh, the day yes. yes that's another one won't go into detail don't worry roger but that's another it's example fine. of a fight <laughs> that has like great short phases where jobs can really kind of perform better um mm -hmm. Bards used to do healer limit break three. <laughs> yeah, I've saved my number of groups with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, Wait, what? Back. Yeah, way yeah. back. They they did healer limit break three. Uh, that was their they they were support. They, Bard was the only job in range physical back in the day. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, back in a rover board, uh, and they were support, right? And I think that's that's what their role really was. Um. And then they machinists came in and they kind of start deviating away from all that. Um, I do think it would be interesting to give them their own limit break too, right? Of a kind of sort of like a, a support limit break of some sort. Uh, but they would have to make fights require some of that stuff. Uh, and then it makes things a little bit more complicated. And then the game's a little harder to get into. And then there might be a little bit less people playing, Right. I don't know, but but then that. maybe not, because people just want to log in to ERP anyways. So you'll still be fine. Whip job, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make guild somehow, right? I mean, yeah. Roger, As if I don't get recommended the NSFW like hashtag FFXIV NSFW oh, like, every at day. nine p.m. every, every night time. on Twitter, it just kicks in, and I'm like, why, why? <laughs> Go back to being political. I'd rather have that. <laughs> Roger, before getting into Final Fantasy XIV, what was your perception of Final Fantasy XIV? Oh, no. Well, <laughs> it was not great. <laughs> but, <laughs> and now it's worse. <laughs> to be honest, to, okay, okay. Truly, okay, I, people might think a little bit not like, I'm, I'm about to say something that's probably not good, yeah? Okay. Okay. So, brace yourselves. Mm -hmm. For some time, I thought that Final Fantasy XIV and Lineage were kind of the same game. <laughs> I, I, I was a little bit confused. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, yeah? It was just like, yeah, it's those games, like, a little bit more Eastern-style graphics, a little bit more. So, um, yeah, it wasn't really on my radar. Um just ne to be honest, I just never played other games, right? Like, mm -hmm. I just uh, didn't try stuff. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, no, I mean, I, I think it's a lot of fun, honestly. Like, the thing is, the game has so many ways to, like, have fun as well. In, it, like, you say joking. No, I don't care about what you feel now. I, mean, I want your previous yeah, perception, yeah. all the horrible things, mm -hmm. so people can clip it and say, Roger hates yeah. Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> no, like, like, like I said, I just didn't know anything. Like... People didn't really talk to me about it that much, oh. let's say, right? <laughs> like, I don't know why. It went really, like, maybe I just happened to not stumble upon people who talked about the game as much. Um, I, I did not expect to like it this much. Like, legit. I thought we were going to just try it. And it was like, yeah, we'll probably do a raid. And then mm -hmm. go back to WoW and that's it. But I really did not expect it, yeah? So, if anything, I will say, I mean, nowadays, 
it has gotten the publicity, so I think everyone knows about it. But I think that's what it, it was lacking back then, maybe. That uh, I didn't... I, I mean, I had heard of it, but I hadn't seen it as much, right? Like, I hadn't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was, right? Like, it just mm -hmm. hadn't reached me. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty funny. And I think uh, that, that was the perception a lot of people had about Final Fantasy XIV, I think. That it just kind of this this weebish game you know you wouldn't really get into it and, you know uh cat girls and that's all it is whatever you know you may have orcs over in wow but you also have dancing night elves everywhere so it doesn't really matter it's the same thing i remember Actually, back in the day old days of wow if you wanted to make some money you just make a night elf real quick jump on the mailbox in front of the auction house and just slash dance and just, just come up and give you money hey, that's it listen the only reason okay i'll tell you this <clears throat> the only reason why it's so less let's say widespread in world of warcraft these kind of things is because they made specific servers for the rpers so, true. Uh, you know, all the people that take it really seriously, they're off there. Whereas in Final Fantasy, uh, mm -hmm. th there's no server that is like RP <laughs> specifically <laughs> tagged, right? Right. Well, yeah. no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's honestly, it's some of that. And it's also the fact that when that was at its peak and wow, social media wasn't much a thing. But when in mm. 14, it was social media, you know, it had blown up already. So everyone was taking that and putting it on Twitter. So you couldn't escape it. It was everywhere. <laughs> yeah okay that's fine i mean they they also have made a lot of emotes in this game i gotta hand it to them right like they make it easy <laughs> they do. it's uh oh, man i mean um, if you if you if you really want to go and check out like a hot spot so to speak like, as it's being said in chat right now just go to balmung it's a server on na on crystal and just go to the quicksand in old R, and uh you'll see what i mean yeah, I feel really. Okay. I'm just yeah, saying, if you're interested, <laughs> could go yeah. and start. You Omaha. know what? That is a a <laughs> great <laughs> comment. I never thought about that, but players who started old ha, they do have to go through quicksand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't wait through. to start playing this game. Really First cutscene no. ends, they turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going wow. to wow. And now they can do it in <laughs> VR. You know, yeah. now they can witness it all in VR glory. Uh, because they have that new mod coming out or whatever uh, that they have. Uh, oh, I've heard of all kinds of. Uh, but we will talk. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to actually. I, I'm actually very interested to hear because I feel like I, I, I'm also a little bit responsible for throwing the conversation a little bit on the side. But uh -huh. like specifically for Bard and um, and Dancer, mm -hmm. uh, I want to hear like your thoughts of like. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you do think there's a rework, because that's where we were at, but also if not a full rework, like I have a few things that I would like to be changed personally, like just quality of life, like just a few things. So I don't know if you want, because I feel like we talked a lot about machinist, but I mean, that's the hot know. button topic, right? Uh, I mean, are you everyone's feeling pretty good about Bard and Dancer overall, or am I wrong about that? Uh, no. No? Dancer, actually, <laughs> kind of. Because uh, Dancer, every complaint I had in Shadowbringers basically got fixed in in Endwalker. Improv was weird. The the procs, the saber dancing, like, doing it was something that was kind of give or take sometimes in Shadowbringers. Like, you could, if you overused it, you lost procs, but then you could also end up getting over-resourced, over and then you would feel bad being capped. It's uh, weird things like that. But mm -hmm. Bard, they made it like eight times as rigid and it doesn't feel any different to play at the same time. So it's just like you, you, you're punished. You can't fix anything. It's just and dots are useless. It's like everything that was OK about it in Shadowbringers, they got rid of. And the things that they introduced made it weirder to play. OK, OK. I think yeah. two easy, easy changes on Bard would be making these songs able to press them without a target and uh, giving stacks to MPV RO. These two things would already make it a lot more convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what, what about making it able to have four 
procs of the like during uh, minuet, but you can only consume three at a time. But you could get a fourth, so you'd never have this sweating of like, oh my god, am I gonna get a proc or not? I need to be ready for both cases. Do I first imperial arrow and then pitch perfect or reverse? Oof, that is like the cold sweat. Mm. I, I think that would that would be nice. Um, yeah, and also Baraz giving us a shadow bite proc. That's uh, that's like a small one, but <laughs> just really annoys me. Yeah, pretty depressing. Shadow bite and 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 sidewinder. <laughs> They're both just depressing in their <laughs> existence. <laughs> Yeah, I think side one like generally I think it's okay, like you said. Um I, I don't have like any plans. I do mm -hmm. think they've just thrown a few extra things that are not necessary. And they, if you take those out, maybe you make room for something cooler in instead. So like sidewinders it's just a button. That's it, right? And it doesn't have any interaction with anything. Um also uh radiant finale that they added i mean did they need to I, I i don't see the point they could have just baked it into battle voice i guess it's just yeah there i, mm -hmm. I guess it has like 10 mm -hmm. seconds less cooldown so we'll, in a fringe case maybe there's some use for it but yeah, yeah. there's there's use it's... for it if the enrage is right like if the enrage is like right as you're doing your next twos you yeah. actually get one raid buff in time to actually use but, you know, Finale used to be more interestingly designed before the launch of the expansion. Before, oh. it was 2 for 1 coda, 4% for 2, and 5% for 3 codas. So there's only a 1% difference between 2 and 3 codas. So there was a, uh. bit, there's a little bit more thought behind when it was ideal mm -hmm. to use. Um, and that's gone. They fixed it. Now it's just 3 or, three or bust. Hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, like, Radiant does feel a bit extra. Like, if you're mm. playing the job properly, you're just always going to have it. And it's like, okay, that's cool and all, but it's very unimaginative, at least to me. But I'm not really a big Bard fan, so I'm probably biased. <laughs> What's your hatred towards Bards here? Uh, For me, I just don't like... You know, I, I like a job with some micromanagement. That's not the problem. But for me, it just feels like a lot of work for very little gain. At the end of the day, okay. it, it just feel you know again. But again, this is biased because I prefer static rotation jobs. Um, like dancer for me is fine because like it's entirely proc based. But whereas, but bard's like just like this weird middle ground for me, and mm -hmm. it just doesn't mesh well for me at all. Okay. Okay. I yeah, one big depression with Bard is you almost never get to hear Thor and go, oh, in the middle of DSR because <laughs> you just don't hit him hard enough. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's whenever you hit, you him, hit him, him. Yeah, it's when you do enough damage to him. What? Hit. Really? Yeah. Wait, that because my teammates were saying that. And I was like, what are they talking about? I don't hear this. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah. What? Is that a client side or what? Yeah, it's client side. I... Yeah. I have never known that, but I, I turn all, not like I would because I haven't even gone in there, but like I turn all my sounds completely off for that stuff, so I would have never heard it. <laughs> I heard it more in one night on Monk than I heard it in two weeks of 12 hour a day prog on Bard. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. Is that the first time they've done that? I don't think so. I think it's been done in at least one other place. But that one's that one's really egregious. Because <laughs> he just he cuts off his he'd be like <laughs> the glorious what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well, any more thoughts on Bard? They really need to fix the rigidity of it. Maybe even giving the songs themselves mm -hmm. up to two stacks and just letting them persist infinite, infinitely instead of giving them a set timer. So you mm -hmm. have a bit more flexibility to fix mm -hmm. when you go in and out of a song. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's just, it's okay to want to have this like set order that like to, to design it around an order and balance it around an order. But you can't feel bad going through the order if the fight is anything but 100% uptime. It's just not a good idea. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, I fully agree with that. I think they could definitely play with the songs a bit. Um, it's like to me, it's not unenjoyable. Like I enjoy it. It's also like a small puzzle sometimes on bosses. Like um, I remember on P8S, uh, I hadn't thought about it, and then THD actually pointed it out um, that before the first time the boss in phase two, sorry, in P8, uh, before the boss goes uh, away the first time. Uh, you want to do like a full maid's ballad mm -hmm. and then go into your uh, uh, your pay on uh, as late as possible so that when the boss comes back, you barely get the uh, haste proc, whatever it is, right? Like, uh, so that's kind of cool, you know, playing around it, like looking back at the v at the vods, trying to figure out how do you, you uh, optimally have your songs, but. I think it's like a small mini game. Uh, I do think, in terms of overall the the jobs enjoyment, uh, they should make it more flexible and just able to do what you want. Like you said as well. Like I don't know why do, you, why does the song end necessarily, right? Like make it that you are incentivized to change song, mm -hmm. but you don't have to necessarily. Um, yeah. Okay. And lastly, also the repelling shot, make it that it uh, is just a disengage backwards, please, so I can actually use it. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think that would be really cool. Like Dragoon's, yeah. like Dragoon's backflip, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just shoot off I... the ground regardless of where you are. <laughs> no, it's not good. <laughs> no, like, See uh... ya. <laughs> I, th I think that would be cool, right? I yeah, mean... yeah. Okay. It feels really cool when you use it. So, I I deliberately try to use it in ways that make people go, "That was cool." Yeah. <laughs> like in <laughs> um, like... in uh phase two of uh, P4S, when you know the the third the third act where he goes to one side and then does yes the waves and the... then there's the four towers. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he jumps, when he goes away from the middle, I try to time the repelling shot. So as soon as he goes away, I go back into my tower. And nice. I'm just like, I don't need to do that, but I look cool. It doing feels it. good. Yeah. <laughs> I did the same on the on the eyes phase on DSR. I would go to the middle. We just killed the blue eye, and then the cast was about <laughs> to go off. So I repel. I was. I'm in the middle. I repelling shot behind the blue eye and hit the apex arrow right there, and it's just one shot to the blue eye again. Mm, so good. Uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean. Yeah, I saw some clip about P7S where someone was doing a Dragoon jump back into their spot or whatever. They got real popular, retweeted a lot. And just like more of those, it, just, it feels good. You don't get a lot of that in the game because you're always going to your exact spot and you're just staying there. But being able to actually use those jumps and moving around uh, feels good. You get to have a lot more fun with that with Dancer, I'm assuming, though. Uh, just because you have a lot more freedom of moving yeah. around like that. Yeah, Dancer yeah, is giving your teammates anxiety until they see you on a vaunt and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> Do we feel like Dancer's just in a good spot or are there things that need to be changed with it? Yeah, it's if, doing really well in general. Yeah, yeah. Really it's good. Good. It has everything people want. It has support. It has... If you really count mobility as a factor, which I I don't re I don't really advocate for much. I, I I think a sprint button is fine, but as something extra, okay, sure, it has that, and it has buffs. You know, it, it just has the full package of what people want from Fizz Rage. I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah I agree. I will, I will say that if they do change, like if they reevaluate the role, they do need to still reevaluate Dancer because what defines the role might mean those things don't make sense anymore. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you win some, you lose some in this case. Yeah, and, and uh, for, for me, like it's again, not big things, but I do personally think they should get rid probably of Windmill and Blade Shower. That's my personal opinion, <clears throat> or something, because okay. I, I I think like you have four buttons for single target and the same four buttons basically for AOE. I think they could trim two of them at least from the AOE. 
So <laughs> you don't. I, I don't know. That's just my personal thing. Just again, just bloat in my opinion. Not necessary. Um, what about the? Yeah, just... I think if 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 anything, if anything for the dancer, I would say maybe try to make it a bit more attention required in between <laughs> two minutes. You know, like I think they could add something there. I I don't know. Take away maybe fan dance four. Like, I don't care about this ability, right? Mm -hmm. And. Make my one minute do something more exciting. I, I don't know. Just it, it feels a little bit too slow, right? It's like a huge spike where it feels like you're playing uh, crazily, especially if you mm -hmm. have to do mechanics at the same time. And then you're just, okay, two minutes, we've popped them. I've used everything. All my juice is out there. And now I press one, two, one, two, oh, three, one, two. <laughs> and that's it. And like... Give me something <laughs> more there, you know, because um, mm -hmm. I, I think that's the only thing. It's not a big complaint. I, I, I think Dancer is the most complete package by far, personally. It doesn't really need much. Do you think the RNG might be a little bit too much on it? I think they could maybe implement bad luck protection to it a little bit. Okay. Like... You know, maybe the first time you press your Cascades and Fountain Falls, you have a 30% chance to get it. And if you didn't get it, then the next time you press it, it's 50%. And then 70 and then 90. And then when you get it, it resets. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. What... Yeah. What do you guys think, think about that? Like, I think that's just Endwalker design in general. Like, again, everything's in your two minutes. Some have a one minute. But... In, in the interim you're not doing anything almost but it's just more noticeable on dancer because it's a proc job so if you're not proccing you are literally pressing the same two buttons over and over again um and i think you feel I like a healer dancer could do with yeah kind of exactly <laughs> like you, you i i think for me i didn't like how they changed dancer so like it's aoe and single target like proc paths separated but then yeah. they shoehorned more abilities back in, and it just felt it just felt weird to me. But again, that's just how Endwalker combat is. It's burst and then nothing, burst and then nothing, burst and then nothing. Mm -hmm. But nothing they have worse. to be careful because yeah. if they don't, um, like, if they do give you more, like in the meantime, then that means Dancer's interim damage is going to be higher, which is not good because then it's just even stronger. So they'd have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, with uh with, with dancer there's there's nothing worse than when you're about to kill the boss or the boss is like really low and you're down to that last percent and you're in that part of your rotation <laughs> where you are just one, two, maybe three. And there's Please like die. Please <laughs> point three, point two, point one. Don't do anything. <laughs> True. Oh. Very true, yeah. Well, it makes it a bit worse on Dancer because you're also like saving up all your resources for the two minute. So even if you get a proc, like you're not going to use it. Yeah. Mm, that's true. <clears throat> all right. Well, what else about range, guys? I mean, we, we talked all, and most of this has been about Machinist, right? But in general, you know, the, that's the stuff that the community is talking about, the things that are going on. Uh, what else about range do you think it's uh, a, a, a good thing to bring up right now on the show? That they're really good in deep dungeon. Enjoy 6.35. <laughs> they're it's really, true. really good. Your heavies are good. Your binds are good. Your damage mm -hmm. is good. It's, it's just run up, just run and shoot, run and shoot. It's yeah. Good. And uh, Angelus is doing a GDQ run. Yes. Of machinists. Oh yeah, of course. You got a really good time slot too. Prime time on Friday. And I am going to be on his couch. Yeah. Ooh, That's nice. going to be a lot of fun. I love GDQ. Uh, <clears throat> and so I, I'm going to work with him on that. Uh, we we're supposed to practice this week, but my voice is just... This is the best it's been all <laughs> week. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, no, that that's awesome that we're actually going to be uh able to do that and he he's worked really hard with t <laughs> for years it's been palace of the dead and that's it 
him solo palace of the dead uh so he's the perfect person to jump in and do something like that um if it's a nice little hour slot right uh so that's pretty good um, yeah, I'm a big GDQ fan, so I, I was really happy because like, there's been ads for the game on yeah, this is true <laughs> on GDQ Responsory, for years. It's yeah. like, well, why, why, like, why was it never on the actual so, event? No, they did. It's they did uh, an A Realm Reborn MSQ speed run in like the ass end hours of the night from like 1 a.m. to like. Wait, they like, did? I think that was <laughs> not during GDQ, but like a, a, a extra event, right? Yeah, that I think was, it was right before oh, right. GDQ yeah. came out or something. Yeah. This will be the first one in GDQ, I think, like in uh, ADGQ or SGDQ, um, which is a, a huge accomplishment. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, and physical range, there you go. There you go. You already got a spotlight. Machina, she got a spotlight in GDQ. What are you complaining about? Uh, <laughs> you're, you're doing great. <laughs> Machinist is part of world first uh, GDQ. criterion, and now it's a GDQ coming up big. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm not dying. I promise. Um, so uh, yeah, there's that going on. Um, man, there. That's it. Range. We we've talked about these yeah. three jobs pretty well, I think. But there's there's some other stuff I want to bring up before we get off the show. A couple things. Um, you know, 100%, we think ultimate's going to be January 24th. We're, we're like 95% sure, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have a huge production I have to try to put on. And those dates are pretty vital to me. I don't, when do you think they're going to actually announce 100% six December 23rd. December 23rd. Yep. So I'll have three fucking weeks of confirmed... <laughs> dates well i mean you're actually getting an extra week because of the holiday because i here's the thing with the live letter it's normally like 11 days before they do the second live letter uh -huh. but that would mean they're gonna have to do it like either on new year's day or it's the they're the odds of them doing it there is is unlikely so mm -hmm. that means they'll have to do it another week early which will give you you know an 18 days for the patch plus another 14 so 32 days so okay because it's tricky not having a proper date when you're working with people and tons of people to put on a production. But I mean, Roger, you probably have experience with that. Wow. It's not too friendly with that either. Too. I mean, I feel for you, man. I know how it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. At least for us this time around, we actually knew decent mm -hmm. amount of time ahead. Um, but uh, yeah, we had one time where it was literally, 12 days notice before the patch hits and that was not good it's uh not uh especially because we go you know live venues have to book hotels and whatnot yeah it was uh Whew. <laughs> I, I, I I thought I I thought that generally though Final Fantasy is better at that right like is it not confirmed when it's gonna be released you still we have a very hard likely date but yeah. there's always a chance there's no like super conf confirmed it's going to be this date the uh, the way it works the way it used to work is it used to be 17 weeks between patches two weeks after for an ultimate that was completely reliable they added two weeks onto the patch schedule so now it's 19 weeks but they also have an extra week during the summer and winter for their employees to have off so this one's going to be a 20 week cycle instead of a 19 week cycle and that's where we get january 10th and then add two weeks you pretty much already said it wouldn't be January 3rd on the live letter, so it helps a little bit. Yeah. All but said it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, um, also with Japan, the way it works is uh, the way they, they divide the month into thirds. It's it's first 10 days, second 10 days, and the final 10 days of the month. So when they say early, middle, late, it means within those windows, you know, mm -hmm. the first 10 days. So it, it's when they say early and it's not the third, it literally narrows it down to one day. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And, and can I ask just so I just fully <clears throat> understand how it is. When they release these things, right? It's uh, at the same time in the whole world. Am I getting yes. that correct? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they do yeah, that yeah. here. <laughs> We've only that, had a couple of times possible. where it's been a little bit tricky, but that's because servers had issues. 
It wasn't because they planned to release okay. it differently, but yeah. Wait, does that mean though? Okay, it doesn't mean that for the for some regions, like I know for EU, the reset is on Tuesday, like middle of the day, morning, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. How is it for NA? Is it they like, wake up in the morning? <laughs> yeah, we wake up at one in the morning to get going. Yeah. No, but your your weekly reset, like outside of progress, it is. Oh yeah. Uh, reset's is the same. Your same time, yeah. So it's like for I think it's depending is on your Monday saving. night. No, oh, it's what? it's like it's either midnight or one a.m. depending on daylight saving. Um, mm -hmm. But it's the same oh, of, like of Monday, time. right? Or, yeah. or 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 Tuesday. Yep. Just enter Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's Japanese midnight going into. Uh, I think technically it's Japanese midnight going into Wednesday for daily reset. Or well, I'm sorry. Wow. No, yeah, no, it's it's different. It's um, it's GMT. I think it's GMT flat for weekly reset or something like that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a great, great <laughs> way to do it. Yeah. I mean, the only yeah. the only exception to that is the uh, regions that are behind in patches and everything else, right? But uh, like the the I think the China uh, versions of the game and the Korean version of the games, they're like behind in patches but in a eu and jp all at exact same time okay like way behind like are they doing like saddle bringer stuff or what it two patches on average I yeah. think, are they two patches yeah i think it's my okay. only be a patch and a half now i feel like they caught up a little bit at some point yeah so yeah they're a little bit behind but they play on if they're going to race they'll race on jp data centers usually yeah i, I, I wonder so, who's yeah. going to race on the sea data center the uh the what is it oceanic data centers yeah they were yeah the for, yeah race, race requires <laughs> so a few participants that is another <laughs> region roger so four regions technically <laughs> okay o oceanic yes yeah, uh, yeah. but but uh, you make a joke like what uh, do they not have players on those servers or what's mm. going on no like the communities uh for oceanic all played uh, mostly on, uh, well, with some exceptions, mostly on JP. And they're not going to just suddenly leave and leave everything behind yeah. on their JP servers and go what? to the Oceanic. But can you, can you transfer it? Like, can I get my character and transfer it over to NA? What right about now? your house, though? That's the thing that a lot of people are messed up. About. I don't know. I'll put house. it on the market. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't put a house on the market. <laughs> you can't? What happens if you leave? No, like, I mean, it will just, go on, but you won't get any money for it, right? But, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Auto demolition hasn't been on for so long that I don't think anyone knows how it works anymore. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah, no. We'll see. I don't know if any groups will be on Oceanic. They might, but uh, we'll see. Hold on. <coughs> still still alive. Um, medicine's yeah. worried off a little bit, but we're okay. Uh, so you're going to be maybe racing, not maybe racing for world first, but participating with Echo, right? On the next one, maybe. Oh, oh, uh, oof. I thought you're not going to talk to me. I, I thought the question was directed elsewhere. Um, well, I, I don't know. I, well, competing for world first. No, I can tell you that <laughs> like flat out. Uh, I don't know if we will start on day one. Uh, hopefully, if we can get the group going, like I said, like for me, it's more about getting the group together that uh, can commit and uh, do it in a timely fashion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know if, if we will be able to start on day one. That it might be that we do it in February. Like I, I legitimately don't know, but okay. uh, I hope I hope so. You're gonna do the concert no matter what. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I will do the content. I don't know about <laughs> the other people, but I will do it. Are you more interested so, in doing ultimate content or savage content? Uh, both, for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, both. Okay. Okay. I, right. I would prefer to do the omegas first. I think, especially if we uh, need the help a little bit with some mechanics. Mm -hmm. Um. It might be good to go and do the Omega Raids. I don't know how that, how long that would take. It's good so to read the ideally... lore, too. So Yeah. 
Yeah, the lore helps sometimes. People make fun of me when I start uh, talking about the lore and the chat bubbles and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be to be fair, usually it's complete garbage and it doesn't help whatsoever. But you know, sometimes where was it? Like somewhere it did help us. I feel like I think I was it was it for DSR where we were like, wait, we have to save Horsefond, you know, because it says something on the thing on the text where it's like. Oh, what if time was different or something? Uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Or you have to help a dear friend. Like, I don't know. Say something like that. Right. And we're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, I want to talk about other times, but I can't. <laughs> There's one in particular that I know that both Zep and, and Saren are thinking of when the lore hell thing, but we can't mm -hmm. yeah. do it. Oh, yeah. We haven't yeah, done yeah. it yet. So. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you okay? Quick question: Have you all done the MSQ like with watching all the cutscenes? No. Yeah. Yes. Huh? I skip all of it. Don't don't ask me lore questions. <laughs> good, good. I'm not the only one. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of raiders I, I, who I, don't. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they make. Okay. Sometimes they make other characters and they go through and they do it all. Uh, not Siri. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just weird, right? Like we do DSR, and I see all of these NPCs, and they're all kind of useless, and I flame them a bit. <laughs> like, okay, we have to save you. Move away from the spear. You can dodge. You know, <sighs> like stuff like that. People get annoyed. Like, oh, one hundred percent. Boy, yeah. yeah. These are boys. Save him, Madge. You know, all of that. I'm like, bro, who cares about this guy? Maybe the good ending is when he dies. You know, look at what happened. <laughs> Yeah, it is. That's yeah. Sir Zephyrin is the actual protagonist of Heaven's Voice. Honestly, like. yeah. And, and then I'm like, yo, let's kill Thordan. I mean, he's the bad guy. Let's kill him. And everyone is like, no, we need to let him survive. And he literally laughs to our faces like, lol, can't believe you <laughs> You uh, got debated by this. Then you mm -hmm. have Dragon Kick. I, we, I still don't know what happens if you, do not, if you kill him. Do you and, want to know? I, no, no, we're gonna yeah, at some point it. go. We're gonna go back <laughs> and do it. I, I, my my best guess is that we it loops us back to the eyes phase. That's my best guess, but I don't know. I, I uh, smiles because speaking, smiles. speaking of looping, <laughs> are you guys are gonna go back and do the looped DSR kill? <laughs> well, it's yeah, where, like it, yeah, more where times. You fail it on purpose. You fail saving Hoshmont, and then you do the first three phases again and then you oh, save him and then you was... go through <laughs> <laughs> i mean we could honestly yeah, yeah. man we, we can basically make it that one fight takes as long as a whole wow raid at this point uh <laughs> matt now you just like, do it man. for the whole instance you got to do the two hour <laughs> dsr clear has uh, that been done no no nobody has uh, the okay. fucking <laughs> I think there is a really long clear though. There is, there is a really long clear. Yeah, I know there's at least a single loop clear. I don't know if there's a double loop clear. But yeah, Hachafat has been at every single fan fest since the first one, with little memorials everywhere at these events. It's a very big player loved character. Uh, and a lot of controversy. Um, so yeah, you, you'd get that kind of reaction. Are you, are, are the Echo Boys going to yeah. go to any of the fan fest? Not that I know of. I, I heard the next one is when October, October, yeah. Europe? Yeah. for yeah. EU. Yeah. I think, I think that's interesting to look into. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't think we will go to the uh, Japanese uh, one or, or the US a. one. Uh, I don't know. Is it worth? Is the EU one worth it, or is it kind of like the banal thing? And the US and Japanese ones are the big ones. No, they're, they're all, all they're equally all big. Equal. Yeah, they're all equal. They're equal big. Okay. NA yeah, gets I, a lot of like love because usually the trailers there for the next expansion. Yeah. So that's a lot of hype. Mm. Uh, but there's always something to announce, and it's always a lot of fun. They have like a live. The the do you like the music in Final Fantasy fourteen? Everything except that. In phase two, Thordan one, yeah, everything else. Well, Soken goes on stage with his rock band and does music. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen videos so, of that. Yeah, that's so cool. It's a live yeah. concert there, and there's a lot of yeah. other just really cool stuff. Uh, just seeing people from the community is great. That's really what it is for me uh, and yeah. a lot of other people. 
But... Yeah, I don't care to do a single thing. I yeah. maybe watch some panels and hang out because I don't want to stand in line to beat a fucking extreme yeah. trial. I, I usually don't do the extra activities. <laughs> I don't have time yeah. for it ever. Yeah. So, um, EU Sounds is actually one like of the most fun. exciting yeah. ones in my opinion. So NA tends to get all surface level announcements where it's like, okay, here's the like a 60 second teaser and here's like the general overview of what we're doing. Um, EU usually gets the first job reveal. Um, so oh. it's usually one of the really exciting ones. And they usually get a bit more details about maybe like what the raid is or the 24 man is or stuff like that. So news wise, <laughs> EU's one is uh, probably, I think NA's is the worst news wise other than the confirmation of it. Uh, and then JT's is the best. There's a lot of really good stuff. Just having no news and going into here's an expansion trailer is pretty big. <laughs> yeah, but when you look at them objectively between the three, NA gets the least amount of new. Like, what you got to remember, NA is the is the region that gets the slide that says challenging new dungeon. We are the region <laughs> that gets that slide. That's true. So, EU doesn't <laughs> get that slide. They get a quick reminder, and then they move on to yeah. real new. So. That's true. That's true. Uh, But, yeah. Um, All right. Well, I mean, uh, it's a lot of exciting stuff. Next year's going to be crazy. Such a crazy next year man uh this year's been awesome as well but uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening next year um <sighs> they said they're doing a lot they planned a lot for the arr 10 year anniversary mm. do you think they're saving that up for the fan fest itself or yeah. do you think it'll, it'll probably be in the fan separate? fest yeah and uh, the rising event in game probably yeah yeah i can see that too um all right roger i'm gonna ask you this now that you've been in the Final Fantasy community for a while, do you do anything besides raiding? Are you involved in any kind of like house parties on Saturday nights or anything like that? I, uh, not on stream. No, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> no, 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 really, okay. I don't, not really. Okay. I, I, don't, okay. I don't have time yet. I mean, that's no. the thing. And to me, I'm more like a kind of all or nothing. Hmm. situation so if i start doing extra things i will just be hooked and i would want to do <laughs> a lot of them right so i want to like stay you know just keep it a little bit contained because mm -hmm. in wow i do do everything basically i've like you know anything you can imagine i've basically done it so and uh, i try to keep up with all of the new stuff new reputations mounts and all that I uh, like in Five Fantasy. I will, like I give up. Yeah, like whatever yeah. happens is cool. I'm here for the cont. Yeah. So I enjoy the raids, um, and that's how I keep my sanity. That sounds uh, right. That's why I haven't I haven't stepped into island sanctuaries. Oh, the only thing I did go and do is unlock flying everywhere. Um, <laughs> okay. And uh, and did all the blue quests I could see that were not red because I don't know it needed me to level up some profession or something. Like I did all of the blue quests I could find in any map, because I was sick and tired of like, okay, let's go do this raid. Oh yeah, you need to unlock it first. I'm like, oh. So I just unlocked everything. I don't know. I mm. I, I, I didn't even know what I was unlocking. I was just doing it. Right. Um. So, that's it basically. So not like um, the full dive it, chief did, right? Or... The full dive. I, I get. I got flying before him, by the way. Really? I don't know if he still if he has it. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Gee, if you're listening, shame on you. <laughs> My favorite When's, thing. Uh, world class troller happening. Yeah. When's world class troller? <laughs> Jesus. That's uh, uh, that's a title that you can get. World class troller. It used Did to be. You? Yeah, yeah. It's don't ask how to get it. It's not worth it. It's it's kind of it's like the fishing equivalent of the insanity achievement in WoW. Okay, so it's just a crazy fishing or what? Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, one of my favorite things with the world race is like as soon as like the servers come up and everyone's trying to go, uh, well, not this most recent one, but like uh, as soon as the servers come up and everybody's trying to go to the quest finder, seeing which players have to like run normally towards the quest giver because they haven't unlocked <laughs> everything. <laughs> so they're behind in the race because they have to slowly get to the quest giver. And it's, it's great. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right. Well, uh, by the way, I, yeah. I, I did find. Is this? I'm gonna link something in the chat. Uh, is this uh, what you were sure. talking about? 
uh, is this the famous gun that I uh, yes, need that to is get. the Makai hand mortar. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's humongous. I didn't. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't think I would get it. <laughs> I mean, if you're on a true hand mortar, yeah. If you want a good one, uh, was it the T13? Uh, machinist weapon's pretty big. Isn't that like a good one? The T weapon is pretty big. Uh, yeah, that's what uh, people told me. The T. I, I got the, I got the Bard weapon from a DSR. It is, it is big. Yeah, like it is. It like it doesn't like it goes through the ground basically. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. You have to try to find it. You have to try to find it. But yeah. I'm sad that you found that weapon before you actually tried to go get it. Like, you looked at what the image looked like. I wish you would have did work to get the weapon so you'd have this, like, anger against Happy that you could carry <laughs> on. <laughs> no, if you want if you want to see something extra, you need to look at Machina stuff from back in Heaven's Ward. They had an ability called Goss Barrel where, it, like, it put oh this like, default <laughs> size barrel, like, floating barrel on the end of your gun regardless of the size of the gun. <laughs> So you have that tiny gun, but this massive, like, floating barrel in front of it. Yeah. Oh, my so God. Stupid. Yeah. It, it, it would, like, attach to some, but not attach to others. So in some yeah. of it, was just floating. It was... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess we can start wrapping up the show. This has actually been pretty good. I had a lot of fun <laughs> on this show. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to bring up before uh, we get into the closing bits? Uh, I do have one question. Hmm. I've heard it asked before, and no one knows the answer, I don't think. But, uh, who are the sacrificial lambs that got banned for the new UI features? Boogie Woogie, <laughs> been and... <laughs> Who's the Never... Wait, the other one's from that, Neverland. That was Moogie Woogie. Oh, that's Moogie Woogie, yeah. So it's Moogie Woogie is one, and... and a couple streamers, Bagel Goose, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Viking Funeral. someone from JP. Yeah. God rest their souls. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like we've, it, it's so weird because whenever we get new UI features, now it's like, well, who got banned in order for them to add them to the game? Ever well, since uh, somebody got banned for the uh, cooldown timers, so I just, just want to know. I just keep thinking, Max, stop playing at a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh. remember, I don't know if you remember the dates of that, but oh man, when I started playing, it was that was not like that was a different UI I was using back then. Yeah, I yeah. that was yeah. Oh. Uh, also, I had I had a fun encounter. I'm not gonna name say any names, but so we had to do it reclear, and we got some people from like chat, and then we were doing P A test, right? Finally, we're there. Second phase. And then this person had this gift, yeah? He could, like, predict what the... If it's going to be fire or ice first before the bar started moving. <laughs> How is that possible? Someone, like... Is that, like, a gift you have? Like, is it a, a skill you develop if you played the game for a long time? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It can be, yeah. unfortunately. It can. Yeah, yeah. Scripted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just gotta right. learn the okay. script really well. I, yeah. I'll just go back to the basics, you know, train hard there. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to do world first, you definitely need to make sure you're predicting the mechanics before they happen. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, I, I do think, uh, in general, obviously, like things like that, where it's a little bit too far, I would say, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, they, they should rightfully like not be allowed. I was I was honestly in shock, yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. what is happening now? Um yeah. But I do think things like this, it was kinda obvious, right? Like big numbers on the action bars. Duh, you know, like mm -hmm. Wow, I'm hiking the game. So I can <laughs> see actually what my cooldown is. Right. You know, or the the debuffs on the raid frames or the group frames, uh what you, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean it's just things that should be there. There should be. I mean, the, the next thing I want to see is legacy strafing without, you know, the PlayStation kind of turning, where it, like, swivels in a circular motion. That would be nice to have as well. Do you know what I mean? You mean standard control? As no, okay. To legacy? 
I like legacy. I, 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 I am a legacy gamer. So you but want legacy, if, but with re, but normal strafing. Yes, without All having right. to hold the mouse. If you hold the mouse, it, it does it. But if you don't hold the mouse, it does like uh, a circle, essentially. Yeah. Mm, okay. That would be nice to have as well. Okay. Then, but yeah. Most of the stuff that I was really sad to let go when the whole apocalypse happened <clears throat> have, are already in the game default. Now, so yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I, there's there's more they can work on. I'm sure they will. Right. I'm sure they'll get it done. Uh, but we won't, you know, those guys can figure it out and they can take the hits because we won't. <laughs> We're good boys. Oh, no. um, <laughs> all right. I just can't believe it takes like them being shown this stuff basically in order for it to even be considered. At least that's what it seems like. Hopefully, part of me, part, the cynical part of me, just thinks if they didn't see this stuff, like I don't know, on stream screenshots, whatever, like would this stuff ever be added? Like probably. Oh my god! You know what? That makes so much sense because they never see any machinist streams, so they don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe maybe they'll start caving on the damage meter at some point too, but we'll see. Uh, it's that's gonna be a hard one for them to do, but that that would probably make a huge difference as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, I I know we're trying to wrap up. Yeah, but I just no, have fine. to ask. I'm sorry. So I've talked too much, by the way, today. I apologize. No, no, it's perfectly fine. Um, is it acceptable to look at logs? But, you know, like, obviously mm -hmm. someone... Look at the log. Somehow you have the log, right? Yeah. It yeah. didn't just appear from God, right? Right, okay. So is that acceptable? Yeah, there's a battle to log. Do. You know, I mean, you can... If you expand... Your UI, the chat box a little bit. You can scroll uh, and actively read it. So yeah, the, yeah, I don't like. <laughs> I like the God delivering the log. I'm just saying, like an actual log. Like you know what I mean. Don't try to call out. That it's it's a it's a bit of a serious question, right? Because we did have this discussion as well with our team, right? Yeah. Because we are going, we are going like full no nothing, right? So, but then I'm thinking, like, if it is generally acceptable that, essentially, I mean, I'm not, you know, let's mm -hmm. not pretend here. Like, you have one person maybe just logging basically on the side, and you just see the logs afterwards to make your progression a lot easier. I mean, okay, now they're adding the if it's melee dam physical damage or magic. That that's mm -hmm. nice on the in-game log. But is that like something generally people accept as like, yeah? I mean, obviously, someone is using some tool to create this log, mm. but it's not on stream. I, 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 just, I don't know if it's an awkward question to ask, but no, I'm just it, it's, just, it's, it, it's don't show, don't tell. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just one of those situations. Like, but yeah, look at that log. Who cares? <laughs> but I've seen people like showing the log that they played it. Right? Is that fine? Because showing okay. the log on your stream, you mean? Yeah. Like but opening up the text log anything. in your files and showing it, or opening up the log that was generated by some mystery thing on the side <laughs> and putting it up there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, for, to be safe, like I'm, I'm not doing any of that. It just feels mm. a little bit weird. I think. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, like, I don't like. I personally things... don't care about the damage meter. For me, it's more about like, why did we die? Like, what happened? Trying right. To understand the mechanics. And the base UI is, I don't think it's good enough, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. And that's that's my only thing, right? So, um, yeah. It's, yeah. You want a death I mean, recap? A different to uh, death recap would death be recap awesome. Would be nice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would be really good. Yeah. 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 I think the thing is, like, on streams and everything else, you don't want to encourage... Uh, Square Enix doesn't want to encourage, like, all this stuff kind of being added on and showing that all, and all that yeah. stuff. Players, they don't give a fuck. I mean... Well, there are some. Okay, I'm wrong. There are some that do, but in general, uh, no one cares. Uh, it's just all about just making sure you're not showing that stuff on stream because you could get someone that will whatever two chan four chan five chan whatever it is, uh, and go crazy on you, and that's literally it. Uh, 
Yeah. You're just trying to avoid that stuff. But I mean, if you're looking at a website, I don't know. I mean, I, I have logs that are on websites that and I don't have any third party tools on my computer at all. Legitimately, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> right? I mean, same, right? Like, <laughs> so, it's, it's, but I have logs somewhere. Yeah. I can't do anything about that. People post my information on a website. What am I going to do? Uh, so <laughs> never look smoke, at no. it or acknowledge it. I mean, I, I know it's there. I can look. I feel like it's okay to look at like a website where I, they are posting stuff that I did not attribute to. Whatever. I mean, I'm not putting porn up there. It's just information that's up there, right? So I don't know. <laughs> that's like an extreme term. Well, I mean, one thing will be bad. <laughs> one thing won't. Yeah. I mean, uh, so <laughs> I don't know. I mean, sometimes uh, it's pretty sexy logs you know what i mean like they can be you see those numbers they get big <laughs> especially if it's gold yeah. when you see the 99 you know what i mean a little bit <laughs> hey man all my stuff is like eight <laughs> percent true man guys dps stop dps stop guys wait wait dps stop okay 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 all right um, uh yeah. anything else I'm you guys <laughs> want to hit on before we wrap it up I just wanted to say that, like, I'm of the opinion that if you're going to get into Raid, you're going to find out about it. So yeah, I think people need to get the head out their ass and just accept that it's always going to be a thing and it has a lot of use. Like, yeah. I, I don't get the uptight attitude about it. So yeah, you'll find out and you'll use it. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, I just depend on other people because that's someone else is going to do it for me. I don't have to fucking <laughs> think about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, that being said, we could go ahead and do the last bit here uh, and let everybody kind of do last couple of words. If you have anything else, shout outs where people could find you, all that wonderful stuff here. Uh, Roger, why don't you kick it off? <laughs> yeah. So, sorry uh, for having my having to listen to my cooked takes uh, tonight. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Of <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt, everything I said. It's uh, just my personal opinions. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. I think Fizz Drains are the the smartest people in this game. So <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to be part of them. I and uh, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I mean, I stream twitch.tv slash Roger Brown. I mean, yeah, I don't know when I'll stream again, Final Fantasy, to be honest. Hmm. Probably next year, sadly. But, um, I mean, we're not that yeah. far away. Not you got far. some wow stuff you got to worry about. I mean, wow is in your, yeah. your Twitter handle. Although, I mean, it could mean Roger Brown. Wow. Right. But, you know. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm excited for that. Oh, I want to see how that goes. The, I'm. Man, recently I've been getting into all kinds of like I, I might even watch CS:GO for some reason. I'm getting excited to watch this stuff. I haven't played CS:GO in forever, but for some reason esports are really starting to appeal to me right now too. Because uh, I'm like maybe with the world race so much, but I'm excited to see how you guys do. Um, good luck Thank and you, yeah. uh, <laughs> hopefully better than last time. I mean, it's not. It's gonna be easy. Hard to do worse, let's say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Uh, All right, Happy, you want to go? I guess. I'm tired. <laughs> Mr. You can find me pretty much playing anything but 14 right now because for some reason, every company and their mother decided to put games out in the past, like, two weeks and for the next three weeks. Mm -hmm. They just dropped, it's like, 80 hours in Harvestella. So that's uh, that was a journey. And there's tactics yep. over in Pokemon. On, so oh, just raid just raid for 14 for now until everything starts calming down and then yeah back to 14 hey man we got like about a month and a half of just kind of resting period in 14 until we need to start worrying about things and things kick up a lot so uh it no big deal that's just the, the raid cycle and that's what yoshi says too right he's like go play other games man yeah, well, don't, Square, don't put fucking six of them out in <laughs> six weeks. I, I'm dying over here. I'm drowning. And you shadow drop Neo, the world ends with you on Steam? Like, stop. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Zep, you want to go next? Okay. Uh, well, I don't really stream, but if I do, you can find me on Zep899 or find me on Twitter on Zep Monado. And uh, 
gonna be exciting new prog next year yeah that is that's gonna be a race <laughs> also good luck to you uh in wild watcher oh thank you and you know if you can just Throw me a DM, like, what's the fizz range to play the next ultimate, you know? <laughs> I won't say, you know, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on the down low, you know? Like, <laughs> no, no, but good good luck, of course. Uh, it's, uh, honestly, after doing the ultimate. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot harder, yeah? <laughs> like, I'm just going to throw it out there, yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right. And Zep, you are a liar. You play dome games. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I tried it out. Yo, this game is pretty fun, dude. <laughs> I recommend Domekeeper on Steam. It's like an indie game. It was really fun. It did look pretty cool. It did really look pretty cool. Uh, all right, Zero, you want to go? Uh, yeah. I mean, thank you for having me on again. It's been a Ooh. lot of fun. Uh, shout out to everyone um, that's here. Shout out to chat. Shout out to my community. You can find me on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> uh, Sarah and I, Karen, or one word. Uh, I'm usually molding about something. Usually. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, on Twitch, Sarah and I underscore Karen. Um, I do a lot of PF, a lot of raid. Um, I reclear on several characters each week. We do a lot of like ultimate and savage stuff. Uh, I react from time to time, mold at patch notes. And we're also playing Persona 5 Royal on the side right now, two, three okay. times a week. So. Okay. If you want to come by and hang out, please do. Yeah. Uh, and for the guys in the EU, and I guess happy for not sleeping at all recently, thanks for staying up so late. I know it's like oh, I'm always awake uh, at this time past night, midnight so. now, but I mean, it's a Saturday. <laughs> We're all kind of degenerates in some way. It's, it, you know, <laughs> it's fine. But at the same time, I do feel bad. <laughs> uh, he's frozen. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, it froze. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 good. <laughs> if I need to do it for the raid releases, we can do it for these talks. It's fine, yeah? I yeah. mean, we... Uh... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez, man. And yeah, it gets really late, depending on like, how east you go in the EU side, too. It, like, it's, it's kind of it's kind of bad. Uh, but yeah, no, I appreciate it. I don't feel so bad because every time a new world race happens, you guys wake up at fucking 9 a.m. in the morning, and you're like, oh, I'll get my cup of coffee and get rolling. Man, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> so, the caffeine is uh, yeah. it's a good drug. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I need this whole show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I appreciate all you guys coming on the show. This has been a lot of fun. Um, and I'm yeah. sorry. I, thank you, everybody, for putting up with my sick voice. Uh, it hopefully should be better next week. I, I've been sick for like two weeks now. Uh, but, uh, it, I, I'm on the up and up and so hopefully things will get a lot better. Um, I don't know what we'll be talking about next weekend, but we will find out. Maybe Twitter will have something for us if it still exists. Pals of the Dead? <laughs> Pals of the Dead would be actually a really good show, uh, the haves. This is a big topic. Although it might be better to have it like early January, right before GDQ. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Maybe I'll get someone controversial on the show, like Lucy or something. If I don't know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. There's we'll no see. No controversy there at all. No controversy there at all. Uh, but guys, uh, thank you everybody who came and watched. Uh, this has been fun. I'll get it up on YouTube here in a little bit. If you guys have missed it, you can always watch the vods, of course, here on Twitch too. Um, and you guys, everybody, please be good. Keep cool, stay frosty, all that great stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Everybody, now that's on the show, has to wave and say bye. 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 <laughs> that was weak, Roger. I'll take it. Up. Oh, we're still doing it. Uh, bye. Oh, uh, uh, hold on.